had something I really wanted to yell about today. I really did. I can't think of what it was. I really had a big rant planned for this morning. I had a... I don't even know. Is my mic... We got rid of the hissing. I rewired a lot of stuff. I moved all my buttons. Today's going to be a fucking nightmare. Hit the like button. It's just going to be a bad day. I'm letting you know right now. It's going to be a bad day. I had a whole rant planned for this morning, and I can't even remember what the rant is. And now my... I already feel my sinuses. I took my Zyrtec, but I already feel the, uh... Can we please? A towel. I need a towel to wipe my face gunk. It's going to be a bad show. We should just stop it. We should just turn it off now. We should get out of here while we're ahead. Oh, God. Just yell at Flat Cat. I mean, uh, look, I can't even. I can't even. I can't even yell at Flat Cat today. I think we got to shoot right into it. I think we got to shoot right into Steel Toe this morning. There's so much. There's so much to cover. And I see everybody's been busy with the super stickers in the chat. Thank you to Waver and uh, Sean, Sweaty Tryhard, Be Smiley, and Jack the Tripper becoming a new member. We're doing it. We're doing it. Two hours in and Steel Toe is stuck at $300. I did see that. I did see that. Oh, my God. You know what it is? I I woke up about 40 minutes ago. I don't like waking up an hour out from a show. It doesn't give my stomach enough time. You know, when you're a man of my size, your stomach... It's a black box. You don't know what that thing's doing. And um, I throw coffee in there, breakfast. You know what I eat for breakfast now? People won't believe it. Two strips of bacon. I'm done. Two strips of bacon. That's what I... Sometimes I'll eat half an apple. But... My stupid whore, bitch, slut of a wife took all of our Sweet Tango apples over to Rick's, and now we have no Sweet Tango apples. I saw a Honeycrisp in the back of the drawer that's been there since the Omicron variant came out. Just just rolled to the back of the drawer. Growing fuzz. I'm looking for a sweet tango. Moody, all the way in New Zealand, told his stupid whore wife about the sweet tango apple. She hates me. So she went and bought the sweet tango apples just to prove that they're not good. And then this is the review I get over the weekend from Moody's wife. I wanted to not like them because fuck Patrick. These are words I was sent. I wanted to not like them because fuck Patrick, but it's a good apple. Too much good egg talk, not enough good apple talk. You know? If we're going to be real about it, if we're going to be serious about it, I've got an offer out to a headlining act for Hackamania, a last minute addition that if he accepts or she, it's a he, we want it to be funny. If he accepts, um, could be very interesting. And then we got a backup, uh, 
idea for a person if this person turns us down. So either way, I got some good ideas for Hackamania. Hit the like button. Tell your dad about it. Bring in um, the barnyard animals from outside. Let them know. Can we? Can I just... Hit the like button. Sorry, I thought I had something unplugged in the back and I don't. All right. Anyway, it's going to be a weird day. It's going to be, it's just a weird day. Um, Look, I didn't, we didn't do a, uh. Oh, I know what I can talk about. This is going to be bad. I shouldn't do this, but I will. Um, Eddie Ift? No, 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 no. Brad Garrett? No, Mrs. Garrett. Hit the like button for the program. I, I You know, who knows how long we'll be here. I could leave any minute. This could get really ugly. It's a bad uh, time. Oh, my God. At least the buzz is gone, right? I threw that bad cable out like a bad man. Oh, my God. Okay, so, look, I didn't do a members-only show last week, so I will make that up to uh, the members this week. It's a short month, too, you know, February, so we're try I'll try to hit my nut. We'll try to squeeze some extra shows in for my nuts. Um. As well, Wizard Nug Two says 10, 10 months scrim fest, and Max Bringle have a great week. Patrick, thank you very much. Today's executive producer of the show is a Mr. Jason Bentley. Sorry, Mr. Baton Gently. Jason Bentley is uh, the executive producer of today's program. I'll throw Mrs. Bentley in there too. I feel like they're a package deal now. If they're not still mad at me about the apples. They're not still mad at me about the apples. And then thanks to all the high rollers, Tiff, uh, uh, look, I can't read these names. They're scrolling by too fast and furious. And then Rover should also be on there. I, I uh, just forgot to copy the uh, latest version over to the server. So throw Rover on there, too, for the list of high rollers. And, um, you know. 29 days because it's a leap year. Yeah, I know, but it's still not enough for corporate. You know, we're supposed to earn so much or we get kicked out of our slot. We could be replaced here at the Nobody Likes Onions program. It's dicey. Dicey. Isn't that what they say on Poppy Gringo? My favorite comedy special. Poppy Gringo. Is that the name of it? No, it's Gringo Poppy. Holy shit. Uh, the taxi stuff. Thank you for being a member for 10 um, months. I think we'll have another show today. I, I, I don't think I can snipe Mondays with Mazer because we got a very Chad heavy show today. Oh, hold on. Nobody likes onions. Uh, dozens of people telling Steel Toe that today's show is boring and his reply was that the show is hilarious. They don't really do they don't really do a show that's not hilarious. You know what I mean? If if Mooby's on, he's bringing the heat. They don't really do shows that don't land. Um you know. So just uh just take that to the bank. You can almost guarantee it if Mooby's talking, it's going to be a fucking hoot. It's going to be a great show, and the effort he puts in is second to none. Um, no, I know that the Quad Father started a, swi a sniping network. Shout outs to Quad Father. And he he um, has interest, real interest in uh, sniping Chad. And he asked me today, you know, are you going to be doing Chad or should I do Chad? And I, first of all, everyone should do Chad simultaneously. If I'm sniping Chad, doesn't mean you can't snipe Chad. Snipe Chad. Snipe Chad. Um, you know, but after we cover Chad a lot this morning, I don't know if I'll be able to snipe T Tony Mazer and Chad. <laughs> 
And apologies again for my for my uh, stuff. Anyway, either way, uh, maybe May, maybe uh, Quadfather will snipe Chad and Mazer today, and I'll snipe uh, MLC. I think I'll start sniping MLC only because like Kevin has turned into a snipe show, where Kevin like snipes Chad and um, Bob, and why not? We'll just like snipe MLC <laughs> for fun, just to see what happens, and then we'll do it like I'm. I'll make it members only, you know. So Adam's confused. I don't think he's on, <laughs> but we will be on. Especially if I can ever get my fucking face to stop dripping. Okay, you got to see a little something. This is this morning. And, uh, wow, you won't even believe it. Let's check it out. Oh, boy, do I sound sexy. I sound hot. There is not anything getting a pussy wetter than this voice currently. Welcome to the Wolfman Jack program. I'm Aaron. That's Johnny. We're both dying, apparently. Are we? Are you dying as well? Well, it, somebody, either you or my daughter gave me something that <laughs> wiped me out last okay. Thursday and Friday. Okay. The wild thing is, like, who's allowed to have children? <laughs> you know, the wild thing is that Johnny Crutches, who can barely walk, who has, you know, if you think Aaron Emholt has a pedestrian view of the world, I mean, Johnny Emholt's like a little boy. Yeah, it's, um, there was, like, Monday, remember, I had the cough. Yeah, I do remember. And remember what I chalked that up to? Sunflower seeds. Yeah, COVID. No. <laughs> no, you said sunflower seeds. I seed. said sunflower seeds. I said I had a lot of salt yesterday. Remember, the, imagine you're getting a cold, and you try to rationalize in your head, and you're like, you know what it must be, the sunflower seeds. <laughs> I can't eat sunflower seeds without I'm cutting up my mouth. <laughs> Day. Sunflower seeds, that whole thing. And then Tuesday, it didn't go away. And then Wednesday, Wednesday my did, voice started to go. I took a little bit of weed Wednesday, and I was fucked up for five days. So I took <laughs> Wednesday night off. And that allowed me to do Thursday and Friday's morning show, although still. Do you know another adult man that relaxes in this position more? You know, anybody with a basic understanding of, of body language knows that this is a defensive, involuntary position to take. This protecting of the abdomen. <laughs> Lemmy says, I got AIDS from a handful of cashews. <laughs> it's exactly right. It's exactly right. I, I just, I don't know another adult man who spends more time hugging himself and rocking. Yeah, no, we do one of the best. We do one of the best radio shows ever. I don't know what everybody's talking about. We're going to be back on radio soon. It's awesome. It's great. We do one of the best shows. I'm a pro. I'm getting a lot of offers. We're making a lot of money. <laughs> Very weird. And he does it. I mean, he has to does it. Do, he has to does it. He has to do it for at least a quarter of the show. Just hugging himself. John's neglected cat pointing out they've made $31.49 today. They've been on for over two hours. You know, not great. Yeah, that's what we think. That's what we think. Right. Then this weekend, April sp uh, spikes a temperature of 103. Uh, she's hot-blooded. Uh, check it and see. Got a fever of 103. And I told her, I said, uh, I then found, I realized how inappropriate it was to ask someone. In that I asked her if she wanted a cold tub of mayo to take the edge off the, off the fever. That condition. Uh, come on, baby, do you do more than dance? Uh, yeah, I don't think she does much at that stage. They, no, they don't. When you have a fever of 103, as a matter of fact, I looked it up, most medical professionals suggest you don't engage in any physical activity. 
yeah uh dancing was at or 101 and 102 at my peak and it was uh it was pretty delirium inducing yeah so we got we, i mean we backed her down from 103 pretty quick i mean it was ice packs meds stuff like that right. horse tranquilizers glue guns a lot of bedazzling we took some paper plates and made turkeys and uh but but i so then Saturday and Sunday, I'm taking care of a house that is a, a person running a, a 103 fever, three children, uh, and, you know, cooking dishes. I'm a regular housewife mm-hmm. this weekend. Sunday, April, yesterday, April starts to come out of it. And isn't it just kind of like how things go? Like, th- this is something you can set your watch to. When you're done taking care of sick people... <laughs> you will then inevitably start to have your descent. Yeah, you've been running your system ragged, mm-hmm. fixing everybody else, taking it, on their shit, so right. it's just about time. It's almost like you've you like your system has shut itself off from acknowledging any kind of problem. Again, you know, these are things like these are thoughts a basic motherfucker has at like a teenage age. And then Mubi figures it out, and he starts telling everybody. Again, he starts explaining it like you don't know. Like you don't know. As if we need April and Aaron to explain shit. Just in case you miss it, uh, he did make a super cut of April doing a show all by herself. And if you didn't get to see that, um, here it is for you uh, real quick. It was great. And apparently, I've never been on live television before, but apparently sometimes I don't watch the sh- I don't watch the news because I'm a kid. And apparently, every time, apparently, Grandpa just gives me the remote after we watch the Powerball. Well, it was great because apparently you're spinning around, and apparently every time you get dizzy. That's all you do is get dizzy. Yeah. And I've never, ever been on live television. I never, ever be on live television. Yeah, and apparently I only went down the super slide. When I went down the one, I was scared half to death. I just freak out. I've never been on live television before. Yeah. Great, great uh, cut of April. That's on our YouTube channel and our Twitter if you want, if you want to see that. And shout out to Peter Sky Parker. Hold on, is are David Skywalker and Peter Sky Parker the same guy? Yes or no? Because I think David Skywalker is the one who emailed that, but aren't they the same guy? Peter Sky Parker and, D- and David Sky Walkman are they the? Is that it? Are they? Uh, so that nice. you could power through and take care of these people. Then when you turn. Yeah. So shout outs to David Skywalker for that idea. Um, hilarious. Somebody said, who cares? And that's a great point. That's an actual good point. Your system back on. You go, all right, guys, we can be normal again. Your system goes, oh, fuck you, dude. We need a couple of days. So yesterday I, I got a half hour of riffing in with the audience for a members only show because i wanted to make sure we at least had something i love it again just uh there has to be a guy there always has to be a guy who wants to talk about something else and today it's luke man luke chan mang hey are david skywalker and peter sky parker the same person same profile picture i had no idea I had no idea. I was just guessing that they were the same person. They had the same profile picture. Oh, nobody could do that unless they're the same person. Nobody can right click on an image and save it. They have the same profile picture, Melton. I don't know if that helps. It's different information than what you wanted to know, but I happen to know a different piece of information. That may or may not be tangentially related, but most definitely will not help you in any way. They have the same profile picture. They have the same. <laughs> hey, Melton. Actually, they have the same profile picture. They're probably. 
And then look, we got an even dumber guy, Chris Hall. What an asshole, man. You asked. You're right. I did ask, do they have the same profile picture? <laughs> Fucking, I apologize. I did ask. I did ask. I asked if they were if two guys were the same guy. A man said they had the same color handwriting, which answers not the question and anybody could do. And then I bring that up that that didn't help. And then another guy who's even dumber. Do you understand how it, it, on a tertiary level this guy has to be even more retarded squared? You, okay, you got you got base level. You got base level, okay? I'm asking, are these two guys the same person? So only the guy really could answer this, yes or no. Yeah, yes, no. Then you got another guy who goes, they're wearing the same hat, which anyone can do and gives you no new information and is not helpful at all. And then you have an even dumber guy, Chris Hall, watching that situation play out and go, Melton's an asshole. He asked about what color hats everybody was wearing. Did he? Did he? Has anybody seen my passport? This is a piece of paper, and passports are, are printed on paper. Very helpful. Wow, what an asshole. He's the one who asked if I had paper. If you ever want to know when I do do it, when I do eventually end it all for me, for myself, when I see how far back a pistol can go in my throat, when I jump off a bridge, when I take that piece of paper you loaned me and start cutting myself, this will be why. I just want you to, I want you all to know this is why. And then another person in the chat goes, wow, Melton doesn't like crosstalk. They're direct answers to a question I was asking. It's not even crosstalk. Can we focus on one idiotic thing at a time? I can't take it if you're all just going to run a relay race of retardation and keep handing off the buffoon baton to each other. So I go, are these two guys the same? Another guy goes, they got the same picture, which again doesn't help. Another guy goes, you asked about the pictures. And then another guy goes, wow, well, I guess he doesn't like crosstalk. It's direct talk. It's direct talk that I also hate. So, yes, I prefer no crosstalk and no direct talk. Don't answer my questions. Don't even fucking flinch when I ask a question. Don't even look at me. Don't even. Next time I go, does anybody know this? Everyone shut up. <laughs> you don't know nothing. Oh my God. I mean, just can we, can we, I haven't been on 30 fucking minutes and this is where we're at, you know, but I also wanted to rest my voice. As you can tell, that has been an exercise in futility, um, resting my voice. I can deliver like this for four and a half hours. Stand and deliver. Yeah. It doesn't hurt. My I can deliver like this. As if he's done anything. A throat or anything like that. It's, it's literally, here's what it is. I have been coughing for a week. Uh, for the last three days or so. And, and I'm going to go. Have you eaten any legumes? <laughs> I know you don't do well with seeds. And call this a chest cold. Because for the last three days, I've been coughing up that. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I, I mean, not to make everybody horny, but that disgusting, like, brownish phlegm. That you cough up from your chest. It's been, they call it lung butter. Yeah, yeah. lung butter. I've been lung butter, lung butter. <laughs> for three days. Bro. Lung butter. Of course it's butter. One of them in the car on the way back from the grocery store. <laughs> Mouth mayo. Biggest one I've had. And so I had to hold it in there like a high school girl holding a load of cum. Like a, uh Why is it like a high school girl holding a load of cum? 
like a high school girl ho- holding a load of cum. He's like, what? Oh, God. Yeah. So I'm sitting oh. there. You know Division, the intersection by Buffalo Wild Wings? Yeah. I'm coming up on that. As I get into the right turn lane, no one's behind You know your radio show's over when you start talking about local intersections. You know the right turn lane when you come up on Division in 41? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you know that Walgreens, right? And then across the field, there's like that there, There's like uh, that area where the rabbits hang out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, not there, but one more lot for me. So I just slow down, open up my door. Ugh. What I saw hit the ground could have qualified as an early term abortion. <laughs> That's a real laugh. That's a real laugh they just had on their radio show. It jarred me from what I was doing. What came out of my lungs and hit the ground could be qualified as a late term abortion. <laughs> Can we, one more time, hear how funny that was in actuality? I I, I got to hear the real laugh coming out of Johnny Crunchman for that one. What I saw hit the ground could have qualified as an early term abortion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, oh man, mine have gotten bloody now, which is the worst oh, part. Oh no! Was, <laughs> what the fuck? I was doing. I was. They're blowing blood blood chunks. Uh, clearing out my lungs this morning. I have a little breathing exercise I do to help kind of push this out, so I can do stuff without sure. it coming out all the time. And yeah, there's there was there was some red in there, and I'm like, uh oh, we gotta. We got a lunger. We got to yeah. tone it down, coughing too much. Well, and you know what the worst part is about this? And now as I talk, I also have like... Yeah, I want that Johnny Crutchman laugh just to play anytime anything goes really right. And by the way, I, re- I reorganized every button trigger I have, so I don't know where anything is anymore. It will take uh, quite a long time to relearn this. But it needed to be done. I had added so many new new buttons to this panel. And they were all, you know, so I got all the Chad ones together now. Oh, I don't even have the volume on. I mean, this is how bad we're doing today. Shut up, Chad. Anyway, I got them all. They're all, it's just, I'm not going to be as quick with them. I'm going to be hunting around like uh, Moopy. When he goes, yeah, well, you know, that's how when you learn something on a show, that's how it goes. Yeah, when you learn stuff, you learn it, and that's uh, the Steel Toe Morning Show. It, when you uh, learn stuff, it's very interesting when you learn. Uh, it's always good to know stuff when you learn it. Oh, here, here. You know, that's how that's how movie does his, uh, his tr- he takes that long to hunt around for it. So it's going to be like that for a while, and... There's not really much I can do about. April, I hate to say it, honey, but the jig is up. Wait a minute. Are you saying there's a black man on the roof? No, you stupid walking bag of rotten seafood. I'm talking about this show. We're broke. (laughs) We'd make more money selling pencils in front of the elementary school. You know what this means? Get that box ready. April only fans. He would come. Um, They probably would make more money selling pencils in front of the school. Uh, the taxi stuff. Thank you for being a member for 10 months. David Skywalker. Thanks for the stupid, sti- stupid sticker, uh, waiver, super sticker, David sky Parker, super sticker, Peter sky walk. Now it's Peter sky Walker. I'm so lost. Are these, this- hold on. David sky Walker, David sky Parker, Peter sky Walker, Peter sky Parker. I don't know what's happening anymore. Does anybody else? Crowd cap. Between Aaron's high school girl cum-filled mouth and Johnny's death rattle of a laugh, 
It sounds like these two dorks are not long for this world. I'm 50. That's true. That is true. Hey, buddy, I know you had technical difficulties on Friday and then no shows this weekend. Hope you're okay, pal. Sounds like you have the sniffles. I'll send you some rustic cucks to cheer you up. No. I look forward to rubbing your belly, my Buddha bear. Love what you do, buddy. Yeah, so hold on. Shuli canceled his uh, gig. You know, we were laughing because we had checked that MLS theater gig that they were doing and saw that they had sold like 10 tickets. And then Shuli, the last minute, says, I'm not going to be there because of family emergency. Now, he bailed out of Vegas because of a family emergency, right? Remember, he was going to come to Vegas for the Ronnie Mund wedding, and he didn't do that last minute because of a family emergency. And didn't he cancel another show with Mike Morrison crew? Is he doing this because it's not going to be profitable? You talk about a flight from Alabama up to Pennsylvania. It's an hour and a half. Two hours. So I think Shuli was saying, like, on his show, like, oh, I'm not going to be there tomorrow night. It's like, you can get a flight You can get a flight that afternoon up for that show, can't you? You could drive, really, in a day. Everybody's saying it's a fake emergency that, you know, it just wasn't going to be profitable, so why would he go up? I mean, is that true? And then you just let you make Mike Morse and uh and Bob Levy go do it. I don't know. Flimsy Greenberg says Peter Sky Parker, super stick. Chris Hall, do you think they're the same guy? Shut up! <laughs> uh Fred Robinson, the V Fred Robinson on on the YouTube comments of Steel Toe Radio Show appearance. I commented, imagine wanting to go back to radio, and he responds back, money. I couldn't even respond back to such stupidity. I mean, yeah, he acts like he's in some big radio market. It's, isn't it like the 219th market in the country? It's it's bottom of the barrel. Uh, curious Caillou, uh, flimsy Skyburger 80 soup stick, which that's not official. We can't, I can't verify that. No, but anyway, it's not I'm not sick. It's just allergies and it's nothing serious. But Friday night I couldn't do a show because I went out with some friends to uh my favorite steakhouse, Barry's Downtown Prime in Circa. I recommend you know, if anybody wants a really nice meal while they're out here for Vegas for Hackamania, I suggest you uh book yourself in to the Barry's Downtown Prime Steakhouse. I don't know when you'll do it. I guess you'd have to do it on a, on a you know, miss a show or maybe, I don't know if they're open for lunch. I doubt it. It's fantastic. It's so good. But I go there with, uh, you know, and I'm supposed to, have, I, I couldn't do a member's show. And it's not only just like friends down there. It's like friends of friends. It was like a group of like 12 people or something. And so you're never like, you don't know these people and you don't like these people, you know, and I'm supposed to come home around 10 or 11 o'clock and do Pat Dixon's show. And it took so long and I got home so late. One of those dinners where you like go out and just sit at a dinner and, and it takes four and a half, five hours for everybody to eat and pay and stuff. Just one of those. Ugh. Imagine asking somebody, do they age their meats? <laughs> By the way, I did get from uh, Snake, Rigger, R Snake, Rigger? Snake River Farms and uh, Mark Abatista did send me a Wagyu brisket that is now in my freezer. I, I knew I wasn't going to have time for it this weekend. This thing looks great. I'm going to make a video. I'll make a video or we'll do it live, prepping this brisket and getting it on. Oh, my God, it looks great. So marbled. So anyway, I go, I, uh, I go have this dinner and you're with these people and it's the second time I've eaten with this couple. And here's the problem. This couple is like on the internet and they're into socials 
And they're going to find, they're going to, I know they're going to hear this. I'm hoping I'm burying it deep enough in the show where they'll never hear it. We're almost 40 minutes in. Hit the like button. It's the second time we've been out with this couple. And again, they're not my friends, but they're friends of friends. And I don't know if they're autistic or special or what, but this guy, both times I've seen him and met him, throws his phone across the table. Now, last time uh, I went out to dinner and these people were invited, it was a super freako in Cosmopolitan. Not my favorite. It's kind of an Italian, but they have like, Table side performers, and it's kind of like a new fusion. Uh, a lot of people love this place. I'm not, I'm not huge on it. Meh, meh. Super Frico, F R I C O. Um, so you spend a five hour dinner with friends or friends, friends and friends of friends. You know what I mean? So like friends from out of town and then they like they had friends here. And it's the second time they brought this weird couple. And this guy every fucking time. Last time he took his phone. He's like tell he's trying to tell me about his favorite restaurants. I, I get the feeling that they love to be like the couple that like knows where to go and has all the answers. So they um last time he was like tell me about this other steakhouse I might like. He takes his phone, his filthy, gross human phone, and sets it on my bread plate. You know, like you got the plate in front of you, like right when you sit down, and you're holding your menu. You don't even want to set your menu down on this place. He takes his phone, his dirty fucking phone, and sets it down on my plate, on my plate, on my plate, on it. And then he's like, scroll, read the reviews. And so now I got to touch his screen and hand him back his fucking phone. It's insane. It's insane. Hey, what kind of nut doesn't want their phone with them? What kind of nut hands their phone to a stranger? Like, this is insane. Second, you're putting it down on my plate. Somebody says it's a power move. No doubt. No doubt. I'm, I haven't stopped thinking about it. I haven't stopped thinking about this, how this guy shit in my mouth, basically. Open, open shit in my mouth. And then, this time, he's trying to show me something else. I think it was a video on the internet or something. And he does the same thing. He slides his fucking phone down the table. And it's like, I don't even want to touch it. But now I have to touch it to give it back to you. And he's, of course, he's like, hit the video, watch it. What in the fuck? What in the fuck, man? Not everybody wants to touch your gross phone. This is the phone you handle while you make poop, while you make cum, while you sit on the toilet, while you finger your wife, while you're at home, while you're laying with your dogs. Gross. Gross. It's a, it's a fucked up move to do. And then, okay, so it's like 12 people. This is the other move they do, and they pulled this shit last time. At Super Freako, I think they ordered the uh, the table-side mozzarella. It's where a guy of questionable Italian heritage saunters over to your table with a bowl and pulls fresh mozz and serves it to the table, table-side. It's a gimmick for $90. And then I think she ordered, like, a dessert platter which had like just like nine desserts on it. She did that last time at Super Freako. And then this time, I'm not shitting you. I didn't even know they made such a thing. She orders the the uh, Seafood Tower. Somebody look this thing up at Barry's Downtown Prime. Seafood Tower for the table. For the table. Now, if you know anything about me, I don't eat seafood. Not that I mind if you eat seafood, but don't do this thing where you you uh, order for the table. She orders, and I'm not kidding you, this thing was $289 or something like that. A seafood tower. It's got clams. It's got lobster. It's got shrimp. It's got mussels. It's got scallops. It's, got, it's a seafood tower. Market price. 
I'm not kidding you. It's it's right at three hundred bucks. You know, it's one of those multi-tiered displays of silver and ice and lemons. They come out. They they bring this thing out to the table. You know, like it should be full of petty fours and finger sandwiches for old ladies at noon tea. Tea's not at noon, Melton, you fucking idiot. Anyway, the point is, I don't understand. I don't understand. So everybody's eating this thing. I have no idea what it costs at this point. The bill comes. They do the thing they do, you know, where they bring a one bill for the whole table. Now, again, it's 12 people. We're probably looking at like 2400 bucks for the table. And this couple, and they've done this before, do the thing where they go, you know what? We're going to put $600 towards it. Here you go. Here's $600 towards the bill. The problem with that is, A, it's not $600 for any specific anything. It's just like, we figure we spent under $600, so we'll just give $600, and that'll cover our portion. But then you start doing the math on it. You know, everybody has salad, appetizers, sides, drinks. And, of course, this seafood tower. And then you put in uh, your uh, tip. I'm doing the math on this check, and I'm going, uh, it's, it, this isn't covering what you ordered. It's not even covering what you ordered. It's not even covering what you ordered. But they do it under the guise. And then the problem is nobody else can figure out what they owe because... This $600 that the other couple ran and put on their credit card to knock off the check, it's not specifically for their food. It just was $600 nebulous dollars thrown at the total amount. So then, of course, the the move everyone loves to do is like, oh, do you guys want to just split the remainder? Yeah, yeah, I want to split the remainder. That's what I want to do. You know, my wife doesn't drink at all. I didn't have six appetizers. I'd love to split the remainder. Yep, yep. That's what I would love to do. And you don't really have a choice. You don't really have a choice because if everyone tried to just pay for their food on the check at this point, somebody wouldn't have to pay anything because this other couple paid a little too much. But it's not like the little too much they paid. They were like, all right, that's for Patrick's steak or that's for... It was. It's just so stupid. It's so fucking dumb. Why can't you look at what you ordered and pay for it and just pay the check? It never works out. And then everybody wants that. Everybody has a deal. You know, they're like, well, I didn't have the, the corn poppers, but I didn't have the, it's like, fuck. And no matter what, whoever gets the bill last is just fucked. Because, like, one couple will get it. They'll be like, put this much on this card. The next couple will get it, and they're like, put this much on this card. By the time it gets to you, it's like, hold on a second. For two people for dinner now, there's $600 left. Plus tip. I don't know. It, it just, like, I don't, I, I'd be fine never seeing this fucking couple again. Did Patty order the pork tower? Believe me, if they had that, I'd have it. You wouldn't have that? Uh, in the middle, I imagine, just a heap of pulled pork. Around the edges, just, you know, different types of bacon, candied bacon, walnut bacon, applewood smoked bacon, peppered bacon, just bake, like a bacon flight. Maybe on the second tier, you could have something like sausages or hot links. Maybe on the bottom, some prosciutto. Some gabagool, okay. I yeah, that'd be great. A bacon, a uh, pork flight. Yes, yes, I'd be in. I'd be in, and it'd probably be less than that seafood flight. That's all the fuck I'm saying. What were you saying? Like a tinge of a headache right here. Like there's some kind of pressure from talking that's causing a pain right in this area. But um, the worst part about this is. That when you start sounding... The worst part about it is that you still have to do the steel toe show. Being this way with a chest cold, you're feeling better. So this is like... This is the, the storm. Yeah, this is the damage that the tornado hath wrought. Hath wrought. Is the damage to my vocal cords and my chest and everything else. That sounds like a good villain name for, villain name for a movie. Dr. Hath wrought. That's from all the coughing. I feel... 
much better than I have in days. But that is, again, but you don't company. sound it. Though. I sound like a barrel of monkey shit. Whoa. So here's the deal for today. Oh, boy. I'm going to give you a show. I'm going to give you a show, but you guys got to give me $300, huh? Sound fair? And you guys are getting a good show. I got a lot of good things to talk about today. You're gonna- you guys are going to have a great show. I-, I don't know if you've ever heard this one before, but believe it or not, Steel Toe is going to be good today. I have to put up with the voice. Let's knock out the 340 today. Guys, I have an idea for today. Let's knock it out. Can we? Guys, here's the deal. I'm going to give you a show. Can we knock out the 340? Can we? Can we? Guys, here's the deal. I'm going to phone it in and do my normal horse shit. You guys give me $340. (laughs) Deal? It's like, how's that different than every other weekday? It's not. But I framed it in a way that makes it sound novel and fun. Like a game. Guys, here's the deal. You're going to get a show today. But can we get $340 fucking dollars over here? Can I? Let's call it a W. Let's call it a W. Can we? I'm sick of not calling it a W. Let's get off to a good start. Let's get off to a good start because we sure didn't end the week in a good start. Last week, they made not $100 on one day of shows, if I'm not correct. Uh, John's neglected cat will correct me. I don't think they made over 100 bucks one day last week. And today, they're like, guys. Could we? Can we just? If you're feeling remarkably generous, cool. Let's make our money. Let's keep the show going. And I promise you, I'm not quitting on you today. And Chandler's back. You know, uh, apparently Chandler, it could have been fake. Uh, The the whole gimmick now could be to make a fake Chandler and to give Argentinian memberships. You know, that would be funny. But. Chandler, I guess, gifted 50 memberships to MLC. I, 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 and I'm not even kidding. I think it's the first time this year that a, a wild Chandler has been spotted uh, above ground. And, you know, of course, Kevin almost lost his mind. And I know that movies probably heard about this and is thinking to himself, please let Chandler be coming back. Please let Chandler be coming back. John's neglected cat says it was fake. Is that true? Um, they're up to $38.47 today, plus $15 from Rumble. No, no, no. It was the real Chandler, says John's neglected cat. Okay, so it's the real Chandler. Let's say, you know, we have no reason to not think it was. But the hope, again, the hope that Chandler Sky Chalker got it. The hope that, um, uh, hold on. He also watches hack ride. I was unsure as well. Um, no, I don't even know, but I have the Chandler song. Look, the point is he's got to be excited about it. He's got to be hoping that Chandler makes his way back over to the old steel toe from whence it came. And you'll get a, a four and a half hour show out of me in this condition. Look at this. Well, that is worth 300 bucks, Aaron. I got this here. You know, normally the show sucks, but if you're diminished, okay, we'll give you the 340 today. I got my Glad water. You yourself. This is where every, everything that's emptying goes into this. Oh, and then I was supposed to do Pat Dixon's show um, Saturday night, and... Uh, I fell asleep uh, with MLC on and missed him even fucking messaging me. So I'm not good for anything. Hello. 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 Great stuff. Really great stuff. Really fun times. Really cool vibe. Really fun world. See, Patrick, your problem is you didn't go out with Nick Rakieta for dinner. 
He always pays the bill, and if he can't, I offer up some scrimp instead. We're doing it, D. Work is going great. Thanks for asking. Work is going great. Thanks for asking. Couldn't be better. Uh, DK. Stuttering John is a delusional bum with a blocked nerve in his heart. Good. His latest transgression is going after Flat Cat. It's war now, John. Nobody shits on Flat Cat except Melton. Shut up, Chad. Shut up, Chad. Uh, hello. This is Dave 25. Hi. Your show sucks. Ah, oh, fuck. And it's That's from Dave 25? Yeah, and uh, it said that an openly gay married man, what like did, Aaron Amol, has what a better the, show than you. What did the uh, other 24 Daves think? Yeah, I asked them, but I'm just saying, what, are you like a failed, or someone who was like failed radio or what? Like, yeah. Just loves Howard Stern. Yeah. Um, hello, go ahead, go for Skakel. Uh, yeah, two things before I beat off and go to sleep. Uh has the fellow Jew in the dabble verse uh, or dabble verse Jason uh, never tip on the tax. And for the love of God, can you please tell me there'll be at least one woman on the lineup at Hackamania? Why don't you reach out to that big titted broad friends at Tide? Angie Crumb? No, no. Crumb cakes. Uh, no, what was her name Claire McCaskill? Something along those. The one with the huge jugs, the really young one with the big, Fucking jugs. Who? Claire Hawley. Who? The girl Ty used to hang out with with the huge jugs. Moved back oh, to Chicago. Yeah, they, yeah, she moved to Chicago, right? Well, you arrange the flights. I'll pay for her ticket. Just put her on the lineup. Goodbye. Thank you for calling. Are you calling your dick the lineup? <laughs> put her on the lineup. Just put her on the lineup. I have to have a fat girl with big tits waiting in Earl Skakel's room where he's not going to participate in Hackamania. Mario movie star fingernails. Flim Flam Greenspan rabbi sticker, which makes a lot of sense these days. Lance, I reviewed the tape of you post you posted of Chad stealing, and with 100% certainty I can confirm uh, it was a one liter bottle of Cherry Smirnoff valued at $14.99. Yeah, we're not doing chat right now, but I'll play that a little later. Yes. Oh, that's where it all ends up. And then right down in here. Okay, this is going to be great. Believe it or not, it's, it's about to get a little melting heavy. So, if you feel like contributing to this program. Please- Again, back to the contributing. You already plugged this. You already said the 300. Let's get a W. Let's start the week right. Please do. Streamlab. Um, imagine me ever saying the words, if you feel like contributing to the program, please do. You do or don't. Do or don't. Be Do it and make it impressive or don't. Guys, if you feel like giving me money, please do. If you feel like sending me a Wagyu brisket, please do. And more importantly, if you feel like sending something to our P.O. box... Please do. Nobody likes onions. Kara Patrick Melton, 4948 Mountain Vista Street, P.O. Box 13932, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89121. That's 4948 Mountain Vista Street, number 13932, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89121. The reason that's important, I think it was DK. DK said that um, DK said that he's going to give a free ticket to Hackamania. I don't know if he said VIP ticket or regular ticket. Free ticket to Hackamania to the next P.O. Box, uh, the next best P.O. Box package. So I'm going to do this Friday. So you have time to mail it in. Uh, if you get it out probably by Tuesday, you'll be fine for our Friday show. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll put it off one more week. Give everybody two more weeks solid to send in your P.O. Box uh, gifts. I'll tell you this. I already got one package from somebody, a regular, that is unholy and weird and is a definite contender for the free ticket. So you have a chance. If you're looking for a free ticket to uh, to Hackamania, to send in, just send in a creative 
package. It's going to get some lols from the peanut gallery. And uh, you yourself can get it free. If you don't want to wait for that, you can, of course, just go buy a ticket. Hackamania.com. Hackamania.com. The minute I confirm this this headliner, the prices are going to go up on tickets. That's a fact. That's a fact. You got to listen to the old Orson Welles commercial. Okay, this is all crosstalk. I'm not going to be involved in this shit. I'm PayPal, Venmo. Super chats, etc. It all the links are there in the chat. If you feel like giving money, guys, go ahead and give money. Uh, John Jamingo says, "Jesus, Aaron sounds like he's gargling jizz." I woke up this morning, and and my voice wasn't this bad yesterday, right? And I woke up this morning thinking I'm going to be doing way better, right, than I was yesterday. And I I swear to Christ, I opened my mouth to talk to April this morning. And I shot her a look where I went, oh, shit. (laughs) I went, oh, this is bad. I hate Johnny's laugh. Uh, Bad. Uh, Just when you felt how it moved through there, you're like, "Uh uh-oh. Right, right. Uh, And it sounds better now than it did then. So yeah, because you were you warmed up a little bit. I warmed up a little. <laughs> you warmed up. I did. I warmed up. <sighs> exactly. All right, let's talk to the chat a little bit. Let's talk to the chat a little bit. I, do you remember when Aaron used to say, "I don't w- watch the chat. I don't read the chat." This is a pro show. We have topics. I don't read the chat. Now every show is like. Just like Chad in the beginning. Let's go to the chat. Muttering Jay hurts my feelings because it it, it, muttering Jay is showing that he never listens to this show. And that breaks my heart. He says, where's ape? He's not on Mondays. April, April don't do Mondays. Johnny does Mondays and Tuesdays. And that, that really hurts as someone who I thought was a fan. Remember when they were like trying new hosts on Wednesdays and Gino would be every Friday, but all he would pay people is like anything they make over 300, but that never happens anymore. So now he can't have guests. Poor Stevie Lou never gets the call. That really, really hurts. So long. It's really. Uh, I thought he thought it was talking about. Remember when like Corey Adam was going to come back and be on from time to time. The other Monday guy. From like way, way back in the day. Just way, way. Oh, ape. Oh, because he was. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, because he was black. Uh, most <laughs> Now it sounds like you're breaking into Vince McMahon. Because he was black. He's black. I could do you're a really do good Vince too. McMahon with this voice. Oh, God, yeah. You I just can't do a good anything else. You could, you could almost commit identity theft. Too bad it's not worth having anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. He'll probably let you take it. I've <laughs> still got a billion dollars. <laughs> uh, by the way, Roots Calhoun has a new Aaron diss track. We will oh play boy. that during overtime today if we knock out today's goal. If we reach overtime today, I'll play something another creator made. If you guys give me money... I'll play you something one of our listeners made. So <laughs> this voice powering through and a new Roots Calhoun track. That's what we promise you today. Uh, Red Fox Matt says, good morning, Aaron. How are you feeling today? Well, that's a loaded question. Uh, Magic 8-Ball says, Aaron keeps getting sick, yet Chad is just fine. So just to just to recount with this attitude and this level of energy, he will do a show today. Just give him three hundred and forty dollars. No deal. Is it? A, do we have a deal? He wants to know justice in the world. Look, dude, Chad's been getting it handed to him by a fucking what's her name, Kate talking Meany. shit about him. Listen to this. So. By the he way, he just went out. He didn't do nothing. He just went out and uh, had a nice time in a place. And now she's talking smack. Like I don't want to be left alone yeah, with him. Yeah, talking a whole bunch of shit that he ain't trying to hear. So yeah, whoop, whoop, like Chad's got enough problems. Yeah, Chad doesn't need what I got. Listen to I this. I don't wish my problems on my worst enemies. 
Uh, by the way, speaking of Kate Meany, she DM'd me over the weekend. Oh, boy. Oh, Are boy. you ready for that smoke? I mean, listen to this. Listen to this. So just to recap for last week, last week, Kate Meany on Tuesday, after we did the whole show about her freaking out about Chad telling that she looks for cocaine all the time, she messaged me saying, you're really funny. I love your show. Again, trying to get me on side, you know, with her. She's so desperate for any kind of male figure to like her, leave her alone. And then that, of course, didn't work. I don't even respond to stupid whores. Um, coke whores. Anal coke whores, like Marianne Halford's daughter. By the way, Marianne Halford has locked her Twitter down. She don't like her daughter being raked over the anal coals. The annals of history are not going to be kind to Kate Meany and her mother, but since that didn't work, and now Kate Meany doesn't trust or get any aid from Ray or Stancil or Kevin or Chad, she's tried to pal up with Stuttering John, then last week she reached out to me, she's already been through Gino and Keanu. So she's flailing. She's falling. She's trying to grab on anything she can as she travels through the colon of life to be expelled through the O-ring on the back door of whatever shit bird ate her. And now she's reaching out to Aaron Emhol as if her as as if her instincts could ever improve. This is evidence to the contrary. She first thought she'd team up with Ray, and then Gino, and then Kevin, and then Chad, and and then Stancil, and Alex Stein, and now Stuttering John. And then, of course, she tried with Melton two times. She's tried to, like, get a, oh, you're so funny. Ignored. And now she's reaching out to Steeltoe, and you'll never guess why. I know, I know. You and April got the whole swinging thing, but uh, how do you feel about bringing in just a one part, not a, like not like a pair? Like I know how you guys like to pair off, but my dance card's full, brother. All right. Yeah, I'm just saying, if you need someone to wingman Kate Meany, I'm busy. But um, <laughs> I don't know, call Corey. <laughs> Johnny, don't turn down much. Oof. Uh, Imagine Johnny getting ready to fuck you. Imagine Johnny brings you home. You beat him up the steps to his door. You have to wait for him to. You've been a terrific audience. You've been a terrific audience. Click, clank, click, clank, click, clank. You know? And then he's acting like he wouldn't fuck Kate Meany. Okay. If Kate Meany had slanted eyes, he'd be all over it. Yes, yes, but that's that's entirely a me thing. <laughs> but, uh. ha, 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 ha. She she uh, DM'd me, and actually, I think Patrick Melton will be very uh, pleased to hear this. Again, watch this man want to be a part of me so badly. What you're about to see is some of the most insane, epic cope we've ever seen out of Steel Toe. Watch this. Uh, Kate Meany sent me a DM and said that uh, she had this novel idea. You're not going to believe this. Um, that her, that she and I need to take down Patrick Melton. You hear this? Take down. Now, of course, watch this. Watch what movie's comeback is. And now, anyone who's listened to this show for any modicum of time. Now, right when he brought Patrick Melton up, he starts hugging himself. Watch this. You can't make this up. This is involuntary. This is natural. Watch him start hugging himself while he talks about Patrick Melton. I'm going to go back five seconds on this video. He's confident. He's leaning in. He's telling you how it is. He says my name, and he's starting to hug himself, and watch how the embrace gets tighter. 
I knows that I, in a weird way, find Patrick Melton to be adorable. Uh, he saved his show by watching my show. So I still, I, I don't know where this comes from. Again, again, I, 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 what is is the show is new on YouTube a couple years ago. The show, the Patrick Melton Hour. What's it called? Nobody likes onions. This show has never been in danger of not paying for all my bills. Ever. 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 The show was never in trouble. We weren't flailing. Again, I I, I know everybody's like, he had 70 people watching on YouTube a year ago. Yes. Yes, I did. You know how Kick and Twitter... And Rumble are also all key components of your income. And you can't be defined by only YouTube. Same. Same. <laughs> this idea that, like, man, NLO was about to pack it up. And then Steel Toe came along and saved him. I can't. My show has never been as poor as you. My show's never had the number of listeners you're. Again, I couldn't survive. I couldn't survive. You talk about getting 600 members. We're going to get back to 600 members. Again, I couldn't survive if I had 600 people paying me for this show. It's not enough. So, Melton saved his show. Okay, I just want to put it in context. No matter what, someone was saying, I don't really understand the numbers. Uh, somebody was saying, I don't know, our show on YouTube is getting 4,000 views. Or something, right? Like after 24 hours, same day, like this show will have 4,000 views ish. And then somebody was saying, like, that's what they have on Rumble. But you know, the ones on Rumble aren't real. When you go look at it and there's 39 thumbs up and three comments for 4,000 views, it's not real. We've seen the three people watching on Twitter, we've seen the two people watching on Kick. They're not real. They're not real. So what the fuck does it matter? You have a bigger number on Rumble. I I, I really want to know. I'd rather have more people watching and my number be tiny. And my actual number of people enjoying the show is higher and I'm making more money. I'd rather have that than have the number be big and me know deep down inside, along with everyone else in the world, that those numbers aren't real. Anyone who thinks those numbers are real is insane. 8,000 8, views on Steel Toe every day on, on Rumble. Get fucked. Get fucked. It's, a, it really, it's the same cope Chad does. Melton took all my fans. We saved Melton's show. Uh, at what? The detriment of yours? Chad, you never had 500 people watching. Ever. Ever. The idea that you think they came from you. And same with Steel Toe. Like, I'm glad we were able to save Patrick. I, I, it's cool. I can keep two two shows going. You can't. You can't keep one show going. The Steel Toe morning show. You can't keep that going. Again, pull up any chart you want to look at and just look at the direction it's headed. But go on. Steel Toe essentially is saving Patrick Melton's life at the moment. He's on life support. Through my good graces. Patrick Melton is also a classic bullied fat kid who had a rough up. How does that work, too? Look, Melton needed a win. We saw Melton. And we let him beat up on us and have our audience in a year. In one year, we let him completely decimate our profits and our viewership. He needed it. He needed a win. You know, poor Melton. It's like, okay, go on. Bringing, and he's trying. Oh, and he knows about my upbringing now, too, which is great. Let's hear the psychology behind this. To be a character that he could see himself as so he feels better about himself and his position in life. I don't begrudge him anything he does because I know it's done through the, the guise of this character and this projection. So Kate Meany coming to me and saying, we need to take down Patrick Melton. I go, why? Patrick Melton is involved in the universe he's involved in. He's
Now, the best part is, you know, somebody says that to me. I immediately go, what the fuck does take down mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? We don't take, you know, again, this is what faggots and losers say. This is loser language. You know, Chad Zuma can do anything to anybody. Kevin Brennan can do anything to anybody. Aaron M. Holt can do anything to anybody. It's all fine. It's a radio show. We're teasing. You do anything to to Aaron M. Holt, you do anything to Chad Zumach, Kevin Brennan, they're all like, he's trying to take me down. Take you down? Go after, is it? These are just, you know, that means nothing. Just arbitrary, you know, phrases you're saying. Now, again, you say this to me, I go, I can't take anybody down. There's no taking down. What? Take down? You know, I don't even send take down notices. The idea that anyone thinks they're going to make someone else stop doing what they're doing. That's why it's so funny when we do make Chad quit podcasting. Chad's like scared to do a show during the week. Chad's scared to do his show. He does one fucking podcast a week. We're lucky if it lasts an hour. And and that that's Chad. And why? I mean, he's fucking scared. <laughs> he has nothing, and he knows everyone else will point out that he has nothing. And he's fucking scared. That that's the closest thing you get to taking a guy down, making them scared to do their own show. Ray DeVito doesn't even get that, but Chad Zumach does. I don't think Aaron Emholt does, but when Aaron Emholt gets challenged to help take someone down, Aaron Emholt doesn't say take down. That's stupid. How could we ever take someone down? Aaron Emholt goes, I could, but he's not worth it. You know? Uh, I could... Yeah, listen, Kate, we could take him down, but why? Uh, he's harmless. Why waste our resources? Melton, We could, look, we could. We could just take him out. That's the power of the toe, toe boys with the baby boots. Uh, I don't know, though. Should we? He's already down. <laughs> like, being involved in that all the time and having to live that and stream about it 24-7. Okay. So, I do four shows a week. I take Wednesdays off. The Cope. The Cope. Melton's pathetic. He's, he's always got to cover this kind of stuff 24-7. You talking about our 24-7 channel? You do a Sunday night show, a Monday morning show, a Monday night show, a Tuesday morning show, a Tuesday night show, a Wednesday morning show, a Wednesday night show, a Thursday morning show, a Friday morning show. You do nine shows a week. I do five. And Melton has to just keep streaming 24-7. You have me confused with you and Kevin Brennan. You're the ones who are chasing a dollar amount in your head. It's the only reason you go for five hours every fucking day, sometimes two a day. Imagine Aaron M. Holt saying someone else can't stop streaming 24-7. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and then the other thing he says, you know, I feel bad for him. He has to be down in that world. You've been begging to have Chad on. You've been begging to be a part of Hackamania. The only reason you're not in this world is because you don't have enough viewers and people don't want you. I feel bad that he has to do that 24-7. Right, right. And if you do anything else, nobody will watch you. That's its own private hell. That you don't need help from me. So again, now Aaron's going to tell you, tell me that if I do anything but cover Kate Meany and Chad, no one will watch. That's actually golden handcuffs. In it's gold. Like, oh, this is great. And then you're like, oh, but I'm locked into this. Right. I want to do something different. Oh, fuck. Johnny, you're absolutely. I wish I could do something else. I wish there was something else to laugh at. Absolutely right. Golden handcuffs is the perfect way to put it. Like on this show, <laughs> yeah, 
You know how Steel Toe does it. They're not locked down to any format. And that's why they have more viewers. It's a broad audience for a broad spectrum. Uh, we'll have our seven to 800 people watching at a time. Whoa! Can someone check Rumble? Can someone check Rumble and see how many people are watching? Because there's 300 on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have 900 people. We'll have 800 people watching. You know, just the classic steel toe. And we'll do whatever show we want. We can talk about whatever we want. We'll have that audience. That's wonderful. That's great. I mean, so so let's get it clear. He really still thinks, or he or he's still putting it out there, he really still thinks he has a bigger show. And by the way, I'm only comparing YouTube. I'm not comparing podcast feed and other other ways people watch. Only you let's only compare YouTube. He don't have a podcast feed. So, let's only compare YouTube. He's it's 292 on Rumble. It's 292 on Rumble. So there's less on Rumble. So it's 500 all day if he stitches together Rumble and YouTube. And we're, we're at 562. What is is, man? You'll never hear me. Go back and listen to the beginning days of Steel Toe when Chad was shitting all over them. I go, they have a bigger audience than all of us. Because they did. They did. I go, Chad, he's making more money than all of us. Chad, he's, he's killing it. He's got more viewers than all of us. And Chad would be like, he doesn't, he doesn't. No, 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 he doesn't. Chad, he do, he did, he did. And he was fine with that assessment. Wow, Melton really sees the truth and puts it out there. What now? But what now? Look, you know, for a while it was neck and neck could have gone either way. What now? What? What? Pick a, pick a lane you want to race me in and then let's lay out the numbers. This thing where he's doing, like, he's higher than everybody looking down. Like, it's sad that Melton's down there and got to do that. The beauty about us is we do a show about anything we want to do, and that's why we have so many viewers. Melton's locked in. That's why he can't grow his show. Pull up a graph. Pull up a graph. I'm about to hit 11.5 thousand subscribers. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It just keeps growing. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how you, I don't know anything about it other than I go up, you going down, you going down. And I'm just like Kevin Brennan. I'm not saying it'll continue this way. I don't know what makes it go. I don't know how it goes, but everything you saying, not true. You know, he keep doing that. Your show's not going to grow. It grow. It grow. One of us installed at 10.3 thousand. The last time we bought viewers to beat Melton. Now what? He just keeps going up. I don't know. I don't know. Humble brag. So you tell me. You tell me how it all works and why I'm pathetic and you're looking down. Uh, a lot of people aren't lucky enough to do that. They basically pigeonhole themselves like Patrick has into talking about all this shit, which... To each their own. If I had to do it, I'd, you know, I'd fucking call it a day, you know. Please, Chad. We'd love to have Chad on. Cosmically. Um, but some people have a lower threshold for shame, which is great. So now I live a more shameful life than this fucking nudge. Can you imagine? So Kate Meany, I'll, I'll read this, um, this message. Uh, and this also shows how dumb Kate Meany is. You know, every time we think... I was talking to Carl from who are these podcasts? And he's like, no, I think she's playing everybody. She's a mastermind. I'm like, you're retarded. Pay more attention to Kate Meany. She's dumber than we all could have thought. Again, she's still chasing people to bring Melton down with her. And she just keeps picking losers. Chad, Ray, Kevin Brennan, Steel Toe. You're right, Kate. These are your friends. These... Steel Toe has what it takes to bring Melton down. He just doesn't want to do it. He thinks it's sad. He's like, he's like, why would we bring Melton down? You know, he's harmless. 
<laughs> um, she came to me asking for it. Now, if I have an exchange, like a DM exchange with someone, I don't share messages. Mm-hmm. If I get something unsolicited that I didn't ask for. Don't forget, you know, a lot of people are going back and watching the Steel Toe Shine Box stuff. Don't forget that Mooby first turned on me and got upset because he asked me to come on his show two times and I left him on red and didn't reply. And that hurt him. That actually hurt him. And that's when he really turned on me. That's when he started being like throwing daggers. He asked me on his show twice and I just left him on red like an ugly bitch. And he did not like that. And then I had to release those messages because he announced, you know, like a month later, like Melton's just jealous. He wants that steel toe heat. Melton wants to get on steel toe to get some of the steel toe heat. And then I had to publish the messages of him asking me to come on his show and me not replying. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. I needed some of that steel toe heat. If only I knew a place to print a banner for my program. I treat that the same way I would a public tweet. Because I did, if I ask you to message... Hold on. Josie Wales doesn't know what left him on red means. Is that re- really? Is when you read someone's message and it sends a message to them that you've read their message. Unread, read, delivered, read. So he saw that I read the message on Twitter and then I just didn't answer. Left you on read. Yeah, it's not like um, Twister where you just... Now I'm just, I've been left on red, left hand red. Now what? You just left me on red. No, 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 no. Me or I message you first and you write something back and I share that. I think that's shitty. If someone out of nowhere just comes to you and starts blah, 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 blah in your ear. I feel, yeah, I feel no need for privacy. I guess in that. Let me hear this logic again. Hold on. Nowhere just comes. I did, if I ask you to message me or I message you first and you write something back and I share that, I think that's shitty. If someone out of nowhere just comes to you and starts blah, 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 blah in your ear, I feel, that's, yeah, that's I feel no need for privacy. Okay. So Aaron's logic is if you message someone and they message you back and you share that, you're a shitty person. But if someone just messages you, I feel no no remorse just sharing that info. It's like you just said the same thing, but the first part had a second part. You're like, if someone messages me and I reply and then they share that, they're an asshole. But if someone just messages me out of nowhere, I have no I'll share it. I don't give a fuck. It's like, hold on, so if you like the message and reply, they're an asshole for sharing it. But if you just get the message, you'll share it because you never asked for the message. Isn't that how every message works? Doesn't someone have to message first, unsolicited? Right? So by your logic, if someone messages you, you can share it because fuck them. You didn't ask to be messaged. But if someone messages you and you answer them back, they're shitty if they share it. Because now you're in a dialogue. Am I? Do I have all the? I guess in that. Plus, this Kate Meany DM is far more entertaining than, say, having her on. So, and by the way, is is at Kate Meany 2, is that the correct? Because if that's her, then. Yes, stupid. This is her. It's at Kate Meany Otherwise, it's someone pretending to be her. Yeah, at Kate Meany 3. Again, you guys seem to know a lot about this. I, I I cover things that I know about on the show. So, like, no one's probably more qualified to cover Steel Toe or Chad or Kate Meany. I've been deep diving. 
You're trolling the bottom of the ocean because you don't have traction on anything else. You're out of your depths is what's happening. When you just said a minute ago, like, you know, it's sad. Melton has to do all this type of content. No, 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 no. I don't have to. I, I, I have a smorgasbord of things I can cover every day. A veritable seafood platter of topics, if you will, related and unrelated to the Dabbleverse. You know, I just happened to find Chad Zumach and Steel Toe. Very, 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 very pick apartable. <laughs> but you're doing a Kate Meany story right now, and you don't know anything about her. The reason you're doing it is to try to be a part of this, to try to get some hits and clicks from the Dabbleverse which you just said is pathetic and golden handcuffs. You just can't do it well, you know. So Johnny Crutches is laughing about this. <laughs> Can you imagine someone impersonating her? We don't have to. Kate Meany 3 is, a, is an impersonation account. Keep up. This has been around for weeks. So what you have is guys who don't know anything about Kate Meany and Chad trying to do a show topic about Kate Meany and Chad, which is more pathetic than anything I've ever done in my life, being being deep down in it. Which is one of the most pathetic things I could ever think of. Well, I mean, if someone was trying to troll Kate Meany by doing this, I think it'd be funny. But sure, but at what cost to your own dignity? Because you're well, now I mean, a guy who's created a fake Kate Meany account. Don't forget a week and a half ago, he had his wife on the stream pointing at her ass for fifty dollars. You know, I, I heard Pat Dixon go like, "Yeah, it was pathetic. He had her do that for two hundred bucks." No, he didn't. It was fifty, Pat. It was fifty. The whole goal might have been two hundred, but they were one hundred and fifty through it. They needed fifty more, and she peeled off her clothes for fifty dollars. Yeah, but I'm, you have to realize that the person doing this has a lot of free time and probably isn't going outside very much. Fair so, enough. I mean, what else are you going to do all day? And again, the guy who can't walk is now making a he never goes outside joke. It's like, okay. Ever keeps them off Discord for a few minutes, huh? Helldivers 2 is not working properly yet. We got to stall. So. so this is what Kate Meany says. And again, get this to Patrick Melton because I'm sure he'll think it's fucking hilarious. I found it funny. This, again, is how these guys try to, like, put out an olive branch to team up. People will disagree, but this is what Chad does all the time, too. Don't forget, Chad sent me a long email last, last week saying, I'm sorry for everything I've ever done and said to you. You're a good guy. Let's team up. I want to be at Hackamani. I mean, just pathetic, drunk you know, manic emails from Chad. The next day I'll get one that says, you know, fuck you. You're so stupid. You backdoored your way into this world. <laughs> but it's the same type of thing. Like God, Chad, Chad would love, re actually love for me to be like, yeah, dude, this is stupid. Let's just knock it off. Little Emmy said is exactly what he's doing. I'm not dumb. They do it in a way where they can deny it and go, Melton thinks I was reaching out to try to, like, get something going with him. What a pathetic loser. You are. You are. You are. I've explicitly said it so that if I ever go back on it, you can call me a hypocrite, liar, faggot. <laughs> I will never, ever, ever make up with Chad Zumach. He is a lost cause, pathetic loser. Criminal, dangerous idiot, unfunny, untalented boob of an old man, skiing towards AARP discounts and probably three hots and a cot, if we're honest, right? Prison time for you innocents out there. I mean, it just, no, no one, no one else, I don't have, I'll never beat around the bush like Aaron M. Holt here. I'm not ever teaming up with these losers. They're losers. These guys want to team up nonstop. Nonstop. Again, if Chad's so done with Melton, how come I keep getting calls 
and texts. Again, this month, I've gotten calls and texts, sorry, calls and emails from Chad. Fact. Last night, Chad was texting Joe Howard about me. I'm probably not supposed to say this, but I'm just going to do it because he didn't say not to. Last night, Chad was texting Joe Howard about me. This is what he said. Your Melton Alliance is working out really great. Keep up the good work as it bombs. That's what Chad's thinking about. 9.34 p.m. Chad time. Sunday night. You think I was thinking about Chad Zumach yesterday? I wasn't. I wasn't. It's 9.30 at night, and Chad's thinking about Melton. It's 4 a.m. in the morning, and Steel Toes thinking about Melton. Okay. Okay. That's why they've, they've started this new narrative lately. You remember, I was mentally ill and dangerous and doxing and criminal and, you know, more, more importantly, mentally ill and dangerous. They had to get away from this world. Now he can't stop Melton. We'd love to come out and fight. We want to be part of Hackamania. Melton's harmless. He never hurt us. He never did anything. Melton's kind of, it's a character. We get it. We understand it, April and I. We're not threatened by it. This is all psychological shit. He really is hoping I reach out. The minute I schedule something, like you're coming out to Hackamania and we're going to do a boxing thing, now it's fake. Now it's a work. And he wants that so bad. And he needs it. Again, one of us has a show that isn't growing. It's not even arguable. These are facts. Go to your favorite whatever, Social Blade, anything. Just pull up the YouTube accounts and look at the numbers. Again, uh, what is his show getting? 4,000 every day, my show? He's getting two. He's getting two. The night show gets 1.2. 1. 1.5. 1. It's pathetic. You can't even act like it anymore. Stop. <laughs> even the Rumble numbers don't beat just my YouTube numbers. Stop. We've got to take this Melton man down. Ooh. It's the gayest, most retarded thing I've ever heard. Hello, exactly. We have to take him down. First of all, he weighs 500 pounds. <laughs> I mean, you can take him down the way uh, the Rebellion did the uh, Adat Walkers, and you could tie tow rope around his ankles, and he would fall over. That's probably the most efficient way to do it. We're talking about Patrick the same way he talks about him. 500 now. 500 pounds. <laughs> Buffet. Exactly. Again, when does the, the arm crossing start? My whole thing is that this is involuntary. When does he cross the arms? Let's see when he crosses them. It's the gayest, most retarded thing I've ever heard. We have to take him down. First, look at this. Crossed now. First of all, he weighs 500 pounds. I mean, you can take him down the way uh, the rebellion did the... Uh, ad Again, if every time I talked about Steel Toe, I did this. Well, Steel Toe is just pathetic. It's just... Guy's not a threat to me. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, it, like, he can't hide it. He can't hide it. Because he's a radio guy who's not used to being on camera, and he forgets himself. I've never seen a grown man hug himself more. That walkers, and you could tie tow rope around his ankles, and he would fall over. That's probably the most efficient way to do it. She's talking about Patrick the same way he talks about a buffet. Now, who else was making buffet jokes? Tony Mazur? Tony Mazur, remember, two weeks in a row made a buffet joke on Mondays with Mazur. Like, yeah, Melton will probably be at the buffet. <laughs> you talk about it like Melton talks about the buffet. Yeah, I'm fat, so I'm always eating. And the only way to always Thanks. eat is at an all-you-can-eat buffet. I'm just always at the buffet, guys. Get it? Do you get it? Exactly. <laughs> We've got to take this Melton man down. Do you know the Melton Man, the Melton Man, the Melton Man? Do you know the Melton Man? Melton Man.
beats you early in the morning. He eats all the sugary snacks. Nailed it. Nailed it. Do you know the Melton Man? He eats all the sugary snacks. Right. <laughs> uh, it is disgusting the way he speaks about April and myself. But, Kate, you just... Days before you sent this, you messaged me that I'm hilarious. You love the show. Okay, it's starting to look like you're reaching out to everyone for any help you can get. Where is your fat alcoholic mother, Marianne Halford, the NBC executive? Where's your fat mama? Is she also gay? Is she scissoring with some other fucking lesbian executive at the top of Trump Tower? You fucking washed up coke whore. How do you be a washed up coke whore at 24? Get Mary Ann Halford on the phone. Your daughter is running a mock! A-M-O-C-K. Oh, honey, honey, sweetie. Here, let me tell you something about the internet. Patrick needs it to know. It's not real. Patrick Melton is not real. Whoa! Tell it to my birth certificate. Uh, April learned this a long time ago. She didn't. She didn't. She's crumbling. April learned this a long time ago. Also, the problem Patrick Melton has is he fires all of his big shots first. I, got, I don't even know what this means. Big shots. This puts you in the mindset of your enemy because, like... I've done no I've done nothing. I've done one thing to these people. Watch what they do and expose lies. That's all I do. Make fun of them for lying. We do a pro show. No, they don't. We run a, a legal contest. No, they don't. Point out how they obfuscate and try to confuse people about the goal. Point out how they ban people. Point out all their hypocrisies. All we do is watch their show and critique it. But again, when you're Chad Zumok, it feels like hellfire is raining down on you. You feel like you're Cuba Gooding Jr. in Pearl Harbor. The movie, not the place. You, you, you feel like you're under attack. And the thing about Melton is he already fired all his big shots. Big shots? We just watch your show and call out all your lies. That's all. I did. It's one move. There's one shot. You keep lying. We point out the lies. End of bit. <laughs> End of bit. But I want to hear what he thinks my big shots are. So every subsequent shot after just kind of seems like the law. Diminishing returns, man. If you right. wait long enough, you won't feel it. Anybody have a clue what they're talking about? So he's like. Yeah, he hurt us early on, but now he has no more big ammo left, so. Exactly. So when people go, Patrick Melton said this about you, I go, Ugh. You don't. You don't. You do a 20-minute segment of your show at the top, by the way. Again, this whole premise that he's going with is Melton's stuck in this niche content land where he can't get out of it. It's pretty sad. We do a broad-based entertaining show for the masses and yet he's doing 20 minutes about patrick melton <laughs> it's like is that is this part of your broad content for the masses did he uh, it's fascinating that's really something april same way so i would advise kate meany if you're going to let a 500 pound hunchback with absolutely no prospects in life bother you and get to you you he is right you know, this is advice for everybody, including himself. He can't do it. <laughs> he, Aaron's great at giving advice, not really great at following advice. So this is a giant mistake. Um, you know, saying this like you've mastered this. We all know that's not true. You look. I, I, April Imho has me blocked on Twitter. Why? Oh, it fucking hurts, man. It hurts. Melton keeps 
posting things about me and saying things about me and his fans say things about me and it hurts and it hurts. It's like, first of all, don't let it hurt. It is the internet and I'm just a loser like you on the internet. Second of all, the minute you start blocking all the people who are turning on you and again, the turn, the turn, the turn, I guess that could be a thing, you know, I guess. You know, I, 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 you'll, you'll, you'll have people email me and go, what's it feel like to once have a bunch of fans who, who liked you and trusted you and now they're leaving? And it's like, I don't know who you're, tra- who? Uh. <laughs> it's like, again, I, 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 I don't know what you're looking at. Just go look at the channel. Just go look at that. Like, it, it, at least as far as YouTube's going, pull up any graph and let me know how they're all leaving. Where did they all go? And why are the numbers going up? I can't figure it out. Either way, good attempt, I guess. Man, if I didn't have logic on my side, I'd probably be spiraling about it. The return. Ooh, is that a thing? If they can turn, they can return. That's a fact. Good point, Rochi. (laughs) Good point, Rochi. That's not a thing you should ever fucking say in your life to anybody. That's a good point, Rochi. So anyway, um, the fact is, um, if you block everyone who's criticizing you, you now have a misinformed opinion of yourself based on an audience full of sycophants, uh, people who don't stick up for what they believe in and you know, just general dolts. I, I, I like it. I want to have the three or four, five, 10, 30, a hundred, whatever the number is. Here's the thing I can't do about it. Anything about it. If all, how many people, if all 600 people in the chat right now decided to just start shitting all over me, I want to see that. I want to see that. Cause I've made an error. If all 600 are like, fuck this, this loser, we hate him. He, he, I want to see that. If I, if I look over and it's like, oh, it's doom and Kush King. It's like, yeah, every day, every day, these guys are in here going for four, for four hours every day. The turn, the turn, the turn to turn now again the show gets more and more popular the numbers are going up the live viewers are going up the hits are going up by all means the turn the turn by all means here's the thing if i started blocking them my numbers would go down they wouldn't be around to assist with those numbers and also again i'd like to have uh look i i can write if it if one person writes the turn, the turn, the turn, the turn 30 times in a show, it's very easy to write them off as special, autistic, because they just are. Like, there's no other, there's no other, like, explanation for it. Anyone who types a phrase over and over again for four hours, it doesn't matter whether it's free McDonald's apple pie, click here. Anyone who types the same thing over and over for four hours is mentally ill. It's not quite right. They might be a good person. I, I, I don't know. They might take care of their kids and their family, and their dogs and their pets. Sure. You know, I'm not saying they're, they're, they're a drain on society, but something's not wired up right, you know? If you, if you do that for four hours every day, something's not wired up right. There's people who do it. And then lose themselves having fun watching the show and then start participating in the show. Ball powder. He's in, he's in there. He's one of them. He's going like, this is turn coke. No, 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 no. What is it? What is this? If every, believe me, if everyone's was turning, I'd feel it. The numbers would be going down. The hate would be ramping up. I don't get any of that. I just had a nice weekend. No one contacted me or destroyed my life or turned, you know. No, it's the same people every day. You look over, it's like Kush King, Ball Powder. And who's the other guy? Doom, 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 Doom. The turn, the turn, 
a turn, a turn. And then you go, yeah, that's about right. That's about what we look for in a turn ratio around here. It's about what we need. Waiver says, may I have a turn? Yes, everybody gets a turn. Free McDonald's apple pie. Click here. Mr. Panhandler says, I'm turning. Yeah. But I want, like, again, if Modelo, Macy, and um, um, Flimsy Greenberg, and Skeddy Tooth John, and Wizard Nug, and DK, and Jason Bentley, and all the other losers started going, that's time, that's time, that's time, that's time. <laughs> Doom says the turn is very important and not a shit post. Woo. Never really thought about it like that. I never, you know, I've changed my whole mind about it. The turn, the turn. <laughs> Uh, it's a very real thing that is definitely happening, and I, I'm gonna be the first one to admit I'm spiraling and don't know what to do about it. I wish I could get everybody back on side, but it seems like it's just not happening. To turn, to turn, to turn. Uh, so this guy is at the dinner party. He's a know-it-all, smartest guy in the room type. Wow, does that sound annoying? Does he have a podcast? Wow. Is this what they mean when they say the turn? <laughs> is that part of it? Is that part of it? Is that am I being turned? Am I being turned? The carousel. <laughs> the carousel. Johnny would be perfect as a fourth mic. This is beloved chatter, so it's gotta be funny. Johnny would be perfect as a fourth mic on a morning zoo style radio show as a character named something like Weasel or Cricket. Cricket is good. Mooby and the weasel. Mooby and the cricket. You know what? But it needs to be one syllable. How about the slug or the worm? Ma, 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 Mooby and the worm. Ma, 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 Mooby and the slug. I like something like slug. <laughs> the slug. I think it's slug. I think it's slug. Cause he like, he can't walk. He looks greasy and wet and he doesn't really move. <laughs> he doesn't really move quickly. So I think the slug would be pretty good. My, my, my movie and the slug, the tick. No, that's too Patrick Warburton-y. Stumble and the crutch. No, but which one's Mooby? You know what I mean? Like, you got to have. You got to have uh, the thing. Addicted to Ubiquity, member for 23 months. Thank you, Sheila Aliens, um, with an up arrow, which I don't really understand what that means at all. And DK, 20 gifted memberships. Wow, we're really doing it. <laughs> And I heard we got uh, um, Bill from New Jersey in this uh, hit. 20 fucking memberships. 20 fucking memberships. And now 10 more? 10 more. Holy shit. <laughs> I got to find all my, all my fucking buttons. They're all in different places, and I can't fucking figure it out. Well, that's not the right one. That's not the right one at all. Ma 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 movie and the slug. Ma 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 movie and the slug. Uh, we didn't quite hit. For some reason, we didn't quite hit the fifteen hundred memberships. Maybe we'll hit it today. I was very fucking disappointed when that happened. Try to have a turn. Uh oh. I too have a turn. I too have a turn. I'm fifty. I too have, I a, too turn. have a turn. I too have a turn. I like. I too have an appointment at the bank. I think we lost that one. I too have an appointment at the bank. I'm serious. I have an appointment at the bank. I too have an appointment at the bank. I too have an appointment at the bank. I I'm gonna unpin the uh. 
the I'm 50 one. We're gonna start doing. We're gonna start doing a super tip of the week. Can't just keep playing this forever. I'm 50. <laughs> Great idea, Patrick. So fun, Ruchetro. So excited to be collaborating with you on show names. I was already thinking about Mooby and the Gimp because it rhymes with Mooby and the Scrimp. To every season, turn, turn, turn. There is a reason. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. turn, turn. One of us, one of us. Google, gobble, one. Look at this. 20 memberships from DK, 10 memberships from DK, five memberships from Clifford. You know, and I don't even know who Clifford is. Is this the big, big red dog? Or the big black guy that from that Chappelle special? Tiff, 20 gifted membership. Does this look like a turn? A turn for the best. A turn for the awesome. Look at everyone turning. Look at everyone turning. You get a turn. You get a turn. You get a turn. Uh, careful with all the turning, Pat, or you'll get turned out. Yeah, my my dog got her stomach uh, stapled to her abdomen so it can't turn inside of her. These are all facts. Look at a man who looks like him, and um, you're a, a good-looking woman. Why should his opinion even measure to you? Now they're saying I'm not a good-looking man. I'm like a nine. Why should what that... If that guy thinks you're awful and terrible and ugly and gross, good. You don't want to attract that. (laughs) I I, I mean... I don't know, man. Look at the, like, stuttering John, Chad, and everybody else. Maybe she has a type. I mean... Way to insult all of us at once. Perhaps, but I mean, he's... I would argue Patrick Melton's uglier than at least one of those guys. Holy shit. I mean, this is fucked up. How dare you? Yeah, no, no, I'd say Patrick he, Melton's a whole new level, I, but you never know. Him. Oh, fuck. Chad's gross and can't talk. You know he reeks like his pores are just leaking the cheapest vodka he could steal. And now Melton's on a new level of gross? Come on, man. Come on. Man, He's probably delving he, into a kink. You don't know where you are. I mean, Ch- Chad's a better looking guy than he is. John might even be better looking. Wow. I mean, we're really going to have to do a Bachelor of the Dabbleverse contest. Yeah. The ba- I mean, Patrick, when you're that fat, you just look gross. Fuck. This is how they tell you? Like, you just don't look good. And that's, again, a lot of the reason I would tell Kate Meany why this stuff shouldn't bother you. Can, you know, Dude, but like, as, as Al Pacino uh, once said in The Devil's Advocate, Johnny, consider the source. If you're a guy, you just got to do movie quotes, man. That's just how guys are. But look, I'm just saying, is she, um, you know, like I said, if she has, it, it, it's not even a her thing. Like this is, like I said, when, when we're talking kink, this is just, this is just wiring, right? Yeah. She found out she had a thing and she started, she started like a, like an itch. She started yeah. scratching it. And the more she scratched it, the more it itched. She realized, oh my God, now she's ended up at the point where she wants Patrick Melton. I, I can't. Be- disappointed that he doesn't want her, man. I can't believe that Chad said she likes attention. Yeah. That was really out of, that was out of line. There's no proof. That is not going to age well at all. Yeah. It is disgusting. As, uh, as so- she lifts his gunt on Patrick to go down. Um, oh, that, that actually hurt me. That, was, that took a lot out of you, I think, to make that <laughs> joke. <laughs> I'm dying anyway. So she says, we got to take this Melton man down. It is disgusting the way he speaks about April and myself. Again, it, just in case you thought Kate Meany's learned anything... No, she still thinks people can't talk about her. This is real. He is a misogynist piece of shit. Hey, sweetheart, welcome to the internet. Right. Um, It's right. Holy shit. Do you not see the guy sitting next to me? I'm sorry, he's over there. Uh, (laughs) Google my name and misogyny. You'll get way worse than you will with Patrick Melton. Do you not find out how we left the radio? (laughs) By by the way... 
Don't Google me and misogyny. Just Google my name. So hold on. This whole thing was like a takedown piece on me. Like Melton's just a misogynist. And somehow it's turned into, actually, I'm way more misogynist than Melton, right? High five. Aim. Right. The misogyny, the misogyny part is takes, the definary, the, de- the definary, dictionary oh, definary. definition that comes up with you. It's also the definary. Yeah, the definary. When you Google my name, it's the definary. 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 De- definary a misogynist. De- definary hates women. <laughs> um, so she says he's a misogynist piece of shit. You can look at a guy like Patrick and you know what he is. You know, they say don't judge a book by looking at the cover. The cover of him says it all. Holy shit. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> Oh, fucked up. You, you you can't be mad that he's a misogynist piece of shit. Why wouldn't you hate women if you looked like that? They weren't banging down his door. I mean, what? It, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just not. I don't need to. So if you look like a giant whale, you're probably going to hate women. Again, Kate. Consider the source. Don't let this shit bother you. I just want some plankton. (laughs) April and I do not deserve objectification like this. Why does she keep lumping herself in? Again, imagine calling me out for objectifying April when he just keeps finding skimpier and skimpier and scrimpier and scrimpier stuff for her to do. These are facts. Connor, $5. Movie quotes equals gay stuff. I do think there's some truth to that. Colin Madden, member for four months. Uh, have ye yet to learn the cry of the turn or the wall of wind blown gull? The turns are blown inland. The gray gull follows the plow. Aaron's a gay lord. Um. Get well, get well soon. We want you to get well. Get well, get well soon. We want you to get well. And with April, she's trying to make me sympathetic by right. going, "Well, your wife." Yeah. And I, my wife is tough. I mean, she's cried on air, left shows. Said she had a stack of things up there. She said she can't imagine good times. Your wife said that three weeks ago. She said, I can't imagine us having good times ever again. She said that. Your wife is not tough, Aaron. You are not tough. You cry in the night and she has to console you. And then she cries, and you make fun of her. We've all seen it. We've all seen it. You don't get to make up. I get to make up anything I want about my relationship because my wife's not a part of the program. I'll tell you whatever the fuck I want, and you'll know part of it to believe or not part of it to believe or believe all of it or none of it or whatever, you, you know, because you have nothing. You have no info about anything. So you don't really know what the fuck. We watch it. We watch her. We watch you. We watch your interaction together. It's all public. It's all public. So you can't lie about your relationship when we see it unfolding on the air. You can't lie about April being tough when she needs a minute all the time. When she cries. When the chat hurts her. When she we I've watched her go, I hate Melton. He's mentally ill. He's attacked. I've watched her do it. You know, get one of those fucking spurgs over there on uh on Reddit to go back and find the shows where she admits all this stuff. Now it's like, no, Melton's never bothered me or my wife. Okay. okay. You had to run away because I was mentally ill and fucking with your family and doxing you and stuff. Remember all that? My <laughs> wife has been through this shit. 
My wife looks at Patrick Melton and pities him. My wife looks at Chad Zumak and pities him. She doesn't. No, you look at Chad Zumak and go, I hope we can get him on. We wa- We watch. You've been begging Chad Zumak to come on your show for weeks. Nothing they say could affect her at all. That's why they're blocked on Twitter. Because it doesn't bother her. That's why it's blocked. That's why she blocked them all. It doesn't even affect her. I know I don't really watch CNN, so I blocked them. (laughs) Doesn't affect me. Nothing, zero, not a damn thing. I went onto the BattleBots Twitter account. Um, not because I was interested in shows or anything. I don't really follow them or anything about them, but I blocked them because it means nothing to me. So when you sit there and you go, April and I do not deserve objectification like this. Of course, nobody deserves objectification like this. Whoa! Again, just what he's done to his pe- his wife in the past month with the hot tub streams and the... No one deserves objectification like Melton does it. Nobody does it like you. Like this. You're absolutely right. But that doesn't mean we have to, quote, take this Melton man down. He's a big fat pig running his mouth. Big fat pigs are allowed to run their mouth. Thank you. I couldn't have put it better myself. And big fat pigs with no talent tend to be objectively misogynist. Thank you. Just ask any of the women in the chat. They'll tell you. They'll tell you. And not even, point. not even in the fun, charming way like me. Just in the really try-hard way. Right, Lemmy? Little Lemmy. Uh, you know when he called you honey and stuff? That was fun and charming. He's not a misogynist. He loves women. Like, Melton's a fat try-hard. <laughs> How, how does, uh, why would you waste your time taking him down? Also, I think, I think Aaron doesn't understand what a try hard is. I think Aaron thinks that anyone who tries at their show is a try hard. Aaron's like, I'm not going to get a new banner. I'm not going to get April the mic arm. I'm not going to work on the show topics. I don't want to be labeled a try hard. Uh, not real. Just to try some. Try at all. Try once. Try anything. I, I, is is this the new insult? People who don't work on their show or try anything ever, they go, "Ugh, what are they doing over there? Trying such a try hard." I think he's got it wrong. Uh, I guess the biggest insult I can give the guy is, I can't be bothered. Again, if you ever want to know if Aaron M. Holt's telling the truth, see if he, see if he stays still after a statement or if he checks the chat to see how it's going to go over. It's almost a, an immediate tell if he checks the chat that he's just saying something to get a reaction. And so watch here when he says this about Melton, the one thing he can say about Melton, watch his eyes. Uh, I guess the biggest insult I can give the guy. So look, when he's talking to you, the audience, I, I don't even know what he's looking at. I think, I think he's looking at himself here. I think he's looking at a monitor of himself and Johnny. But the chat is right in front of him. The chat is is his foremost uh, monitor screen. He he loves it. And watch this right after the delivery. Watch how quickly he checks the chat. I is I can't be bothered. Immediately, immediately the eyes dart over there. Are people buying it that I'm not bothered? Are people buying it? Again, 20 minutes of the show to open this morning. 20 minutes. How, how does, uh, why would you waste your time taking him down? Uh, I guess the biggest insult I can give the guy is, I can't be bothered. 
There's, he finished his watch. Immediately, the eyes dart over to the chat. Woo. Uh, I did not. So, he says, you both seem like friendly, respectful people. I would go with that. I would say I'm friendly and respectful. Maybe not on this program, but in, in life in general. <laughs> uh, I'm friendly and respectful. Okay. Have you met you? <laughs> Aaron, Aaron is not an honest person. He's not a genuine person. This this is a man who is afraid to talk to me. I'll I'll put this out here right now today. Okay, Aaron, if you're a real, honest, respectful person, shoot me an email or DM me, and let's get something on, on the books for Hackamania. Let's talk about it, buddy. You're a reasonable, res- respectable, honest person. You can you can reach out. You're not afraid of anything. You're a nice guy. This is all character stuff. You and April aren't bothered by me at all. You're not hurt. I can't hurt you. That blocking is a mistake, I'm sure. Melton's just a fat loser with who poses no threat to anybody. Let's let's talk, man, cuz you're a real guy. I'm a real guy. Same with Ch- you know, none of these guys can talk off air. Okay, okay, Chad, let's let's work out Hackamania. No, he's got to, Chad will only talk on his show, and he's got to get me a first-class private jet with clear and a Delta lounge access. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, sorry. I was just kidding. Rose-colored glasses and all that. They're jokes. For I took sake. care of a sick woman and three children this weekend. I've got to be all right. All right, so that was it this morning. Uh, just really, really funny opening up about Melton. Don't worry. He's just I am a, that I'm not going to wake up. He's for just a-, a little show. They're just a little show. They don't uh, affect us. They don't bother us at all. Friday, Rumble Friday. I went over to check out how their show did. 168, where is it? 168 thumbs ups, seven comments. 168 thumbs up, seven comments, six and a half thousand views. So look, yeah, they're getting 2,000 more views than me. 168 thumbs ups. Five thumbs down, seven comments. First of all, hit the like button. Um, 640 of you watching. Why don't you hit the like button? So we're never as pathetic as them. Okay, that's just number one. Second of all, Rumble Friday, they don't even count as a gold day. Rumble Friday always takes care of, the, of itself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final moments of their Rumble Friday program. Oof show in the morning if i take benadryl at night i had to wake you up for the show this uh, yeah morning. i don't yeah. i don't know what happened and you wait you did or you didn't take the benadryl i didn't okay nope. guys we got one minute left we're gonna see if we knock out this 90 or if we get out of here Streamlabs, <laughs> paypal super chat or not super chats rumble rants etc if you'd like to go for it otherwise april and i are gonna if you'd like to go for it i don't know why this is always part of his pitch Guys, if you want to send in money to the show, send in money to the show. Guys, if you want to give, give. Oh. Regular rules. But this is like part of his pitch every time. He's like, guys, if you want to give money to the show, give money to the show. Uh, Going to start wrapping up. We're going to start getting ready for the birthday party tonight. I guess I'll have to be pimped out. Yeah, well, 90 bucks. I mean, that's definitely a pimped out scenario. There's no doubt about it. All right. Uh- now she's, you see her licking her hair? The fuck was that? Does she forget she's on camera? Watch this. Up. Nope. We're going to start getting ready for the birthday party tonight. I guess I'll have to be pimped out. Yeah, well, 90 bucks. I mean, that's definitely a pimped out. She tries to put this hair down. Scenario, there's no doubt. And then she licks. Look at this. You ever seen this move? 
about it. And then she licks her hand. All right, uh, stream and tries to use it as paste. It didn't work. The hair's still sticking up. But that's a that's a wild move. Labs PayPal. All the links are right there. It's still sticking up. Otherwise, Look at one. Look at that wild hair. So at least you licked your hand on camera. One minute left, and then she's she's literally turned into this. Ah. Uh, uh, wow. We're leaving. Uh, bigot on socialist media says, considering how April was yesterday, surprised she did so well today. Dude, I fucking rallied. I don't know. I don't understand that allergies really do just hit you so hard. No. I, I've learned how to counteract. Canyon says coughing fits are the closest Aaron gets to ab work. How dare you? I get punched in the stomach. That counts, right? Uh, Trucker 18 Wheeler says MSO wins. Yeah, in 30 seconds, MSO gets himself a victory to end the week. As uh, looks like we'll miss out by about 90 bucks. All right. And then start our weekend a little earlier than usual. Well, you know what it was? It was the difference between uh, Vadam being here or not. I swear he was Friday. here in the morning. I don't think he was. Mm. So now they're, they're blaming this $90 deficit on one guy. Just like they used to do to Chandler. Oh, you know who we need for this 120? Chandler. Now there's somebody named Vadam, and they're like, uh, 90 bucks if only Vadam was here. All right. Well, guys, thank you very much. Now, usually when they don't hit the goal, he does some sorry, sad sack, sap of shit. You know what I mean? He's going to, uh, my prediction here is that he goes like, I thought we did a good show, but I guess we didn't. I mean, he, he always does that. Look, we did a good show for you. I thought we did a good show, but I guess we couldn't hit the goal. Uh, sorry, April. I thought you were great. Like he, he usually gets into a real kind of like apologetic. I guess you guys don't love us anymore. Huh? I guess we couldn't hit it. I thought we did a really good show and it's too bad. Cause we had a lot of fun stuff. For the after show, but I really thought we, man, I thought we got it for you guys, but I guess you don't. Let's see. Well, you know what it was? It was the difference between uh, Vadam being here or not. I for swear Rumble he Link was Friday. here in the morning. I don't think he was. Mm. All right. Well, guys, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to get the fuck out of here. Mm. Thanks for another great Rumble Friday. April, thank you. Thanks, boss. I'm going to go rest my voice. And April, thank you. Thanks, boss. Wow, no apology. No, I thought we did really well today. A little earlier than usual. Well, you know what it was? It was the difference between uh, Vadam being here or not. I for swear Rumble he Link was Friday. here in the morning. I don't think he was. Mm. All right. Well, guys, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to get the fuck out of here. Mm. Thanks for another great Rumble Friday. April, thank you. Thanks, boss. I'm going to go rest my voice and talk to you soon. And that's it. That's how they end the show. Over at Steel Toe. Now, look, um, not exactly what you'd expect. Because then Germany's got to fight. Oh, fuck. One more. This is, I just, I had to show you the first clip first of them going like, poor Melton. He's trapped. He can't do a show. He doesn't know what he's doing a show about. Poor Melton. And then we see them missing goals left and right. And then I'm over on the Reddit. And I know they love us to use all their clips for free over there. Hack vs. Anonymous. And by the way, you know, I don't know if all these guys are the same guy or what. Hack vs. Anonymous, you know, might be Sam B and Fractal Synth and all these, all these guys. They all use the same exact kind of, like, branding. They all love to, like, put their name dancing on the screen in neon letters and multicolored... It's why I kind of think they're all like the same guy. Or, and if they're not, they all just copy each other, copying the, uh, no, we'll make it like a rainbow dancing letters all over the thing. It's like, oh, yeah, you should all do that. <laughs> um, anyway, this one's Hack vs. Anonymous. Hack vs. Anonymous. This is, this is a clip that really grabbed my attention because it gives you a glimpse into, like, 
Uh, what April's what April's mindset about Steel Toe is uh, currently? Listen, listen to this. Two different sides against four different countries, and they get fucked up. He's talking about Germany. But Good yeah, God. why here? I have an idea for you. You seem really into the whole history thing. Yeah, you know, tiny bit. Sure. Why haven't you considered ever like doing like a maybe a history channel? Why haven't you ever? This is like guidance counselor level stuff. He starts talking about Germany. I mean, and look, every day he t- he talks about Germany and Hitler and the Nazis and the Jews. Um, hold on, hack verse is doom. I, they're all the same guy. I, who cares? The point is, uh, he's talking about history, and she goes, "Hold on a second, you seem kind of interested in history." They've been married three years. How come you've never done like a history? channel like a history podcast and look at aaron's face look at aaron's face when she says this he's confused what 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 or something or being like something involved in history it seems to be something you're passionate about again this is like a guidance counselor Sorry, where am i think this is like a guidance counselor offering advice uh, like George, you know, when he gets fired, like I could do something in broadcasting. Uh, what else? What else? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, uh, you know, he doesn't understand why she's going. Maybe you could do this for a living. Maybe you should do that. How come you never branched out into this? Because wh- where do I have time? Where would I have time? April? I do nine shows a week for $400 total. <laughs> April, nobody has time. People, no. Let's say this didn't go well. Oh, this is the blow. This is the major blow. She she holds her palm up as to indicate the show. Yeah, 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 I get it. You don't have time. But let's just say this steel toe. Let's just say this didn't work out. Now, again, look at his eyes. All he cares about is the chat. In his mind, while she says this, he's thinking, you're going to make people think we're not doing well. You're going to make people think we're not doing well, April. Oh, there's a meme. They all have to do the memes in the middle, too. He doesn't understand why she's saying this to him. In history, it seems to be something you're passionate about. Because wh- where do I have time? There are people, no. Let's say this didn't go well. Wow. You could do a history. Wow. And now he's got bug eyes. Now he knows. I mean, holy shit. Look at that eye. <laughs> Look at his fucking eye. He's 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 like, what the fuck? What do you mean if steel toe doesn't work out? What are you saying, ape? Wow. You could do a <laughs> Wow. He's is he's got four eyes and four chins. Not happy about this. Not happy about this one bit history are you like angling to leave the show is that what this you're like let's yes she makes no money at it and has a side job you make 40 dollars a show guys hello hello now they did get a hundred dollar donation this morning that doesn't really happen to steel toe doesn't really happen around anywhere anymore You know, Uh, look, we got 20 memberships today from Tiff and uh, DK gave 30 memberships today. That's over a hundred bucks if they're not Argentinian. And believe me, Tiff is kind of a rabble rouser. So I I wouldn't put it past her. But the point is the hundred dollar, the reds, the hundred dollar donations are few and far between on all the shows now.
And that's a fact. Let's say no. This, let's say this fails and fucks up. Jesus, you're missing me today. She's no. Like, she's like, let's say this just fucking dies. Okay, I'm ready. I, I'm ready to hear the elevator. Let's say it dies. Pitch. Okay, so that so was far, it. Steel Toe dies, and then I start a history thing, right? Jesus Christ, it was pretty fucking basic. Like, you seem to like history, and I'm like, why wouldn't you try something history related? Why won't you try something history related? Let me tell you what your wife doesn't do if you're making good money. Let me tell you what your wife doesn't do if you're earning an income suitable for uh, your monthly nut. And guys, back me up on this. Your wife ever come to you and go, why don't you try doing this for a living? How come you've never tried doing that for money? Nobody would ever do that to a successful person. Give you ideas for other careers. Okay, if my wife came to me and she was like, Melton, I know, she calls me Melton. Melton, I know you're trying to get, you know, Jason Bentley told me, uh, Jason Bentley's wife, Jennifer, Doc, told me that she calls Jason Bentley Bentley. That's fucking hilarious. You know, I, I know you're trying to get this hack -a mania thing off the ground. Have you ever thought about, like, just becoming a carny and working at somebody else's party? You don't have to throw your own event. Just get a job at another event. Just get a j just, how come you've never tried, like, running a haunted house or being the driver on a hayride? Huh? Well, I have a, I have hackamania. Yeah, but yeah, we're gonna need to pay the bills around here. Why well, do? It's pretty basic, dude. I'm oh, this is so good. I just don't know why you've never tried anything to do with history. <laughs> Fuck, because he thinks he's killing it. And then I start a history thing, right? Jesus Christ, it was pretty fucking basic. Like. You seem to like history, and I'm like, why wouldn't you try something history related? Well, I do. It's pretty basic, dude. On my show, I do. I, I do it on my show. I have a show, and then I, I do history talk there, April. I do it on my show. Look at her face. Talk about history on my show. That was, that was all it was. It's, yeah, April. Well, uh, do you not listen to Steel Toe? I talk about history all the time. Matter of fact, Steel Toe's actually a history podcast. It's, uh, believe it or not, people do tune into Steel Toe to learn about history. It's, it's fine. It's Aaron's. It's fine. It's fine. I do, I do history all the time, Ape. You're not paying attention to the lessons. And again, she's shitting in her pants. Look at her face. She's just shitting in her own pants because she's stuck with this loser. Great history comes from his show energy. It'd sound real dull if it was just him giving a history lesson. Yeah, I I think you're right. Me just me just straight up talking history forever would be really. I don't. Th also, I don't think you could do it. You're dumb. You know, your extent of history is like you're German, you hate Jews, and you make Hitler jokes. That's your whole fucking reference of quote unquote history. No, I, I, I got it. Good. It was a terrible idea. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fuck me, right? <laughs> Oh, I love it. I really, really, really love it. You can't get enough of that steel toe. Just, it's just good vibes. Just a good, good time. They all know what they're doing. And I wish there wasn't more, but there is. Last night, um, you know, uh, Citizen M said I, I called this, but I, I've been noticing it for a while. I just think that the evening shows are going to go away. They're not profitable. No one watches them. I, I, I've said this. You should have more viewers in the evening than you have in the morning. I'm, I'm going to do a show this afternoon. And we'll have even more viewers uh, in the afternoon than we have in the morning. It's just... I, I don't know. More people available, more people around. I, I, I don't know. I don't really know. But I do know that Steel Toe is the only show who can't get over 150 
viewers at night, and I don't know why. Can I also say something that I'm really upset about? And I don't know if anybody else has this. The new layout of YouTube is absolute dog shit. And I was asking people in the Discord about this yesterday, and they're saying they don't have it or it hasn't rolled out for them. This is what YouTube looks like for me now. So if it's a live show like Steel Toe, this is what it looks like. Under the video, it's just big thumbnails and more videos. Over on the right is the chat if it's a live show or a premiere. And you cannot see any info about this video. If you scroll down in the chat, it just, it just does the chat. There's nothing below this. It just scrolls the main page. So the view count, how many people are watching live, the description, the thumbs up, it's all gone. It's all not here anymore at the bottom. They just hit it. It used to all be down here at the bottom, and it's just gone. And to see any of that information now, you have to close the chat. And then you get the show name, how many are watching, 260, pathetic. The description, oh, you, gotta, you can't even, you got to close the description to see the thumbs ups. And then if you hit show chat, it doesn't just appear below here. It hides everything. And you can't see how many people are watching or anything. It's so shit. Now, Colin Madden says mine's the same. Dime Card says mine doesn't look like that. My layout isn't that. I think they're rolling it out. I think they're rolling it out sl slow. So I think everybody will eventually get this, but this is the new layout. This is the new look, and it sucks. It just changed last week for me fr from, the, from the normal layout. And I have this on every browser. It doesn't matter. I, I've tried resizing it. This is dog shit. So like you just get, you can't see any of the information. And again, if you want to see the full description, it won't even expand. You, you click more, it pops up and then you can't do anything until you close this out. I mean, this is retarded. Sean says it's awful. I thought I was the only one. I, you, you, I, woof. So I just want to address that. It, it's fucking bad. It's bad. You, they, all the information used to be available on the screen, and now you have to, like, click into different things and hide stuff to see, to read information. Like, it just is so dumb. Comments, by the way, comments will all come up in that, too. If they're, Let me just go show you, like, a regular video. Let me just, here's Anna Wintour Masterclass. So here's all the comments now. They're all on the right instead of, so all you get over here in the main area is just more videos, just tons more videos. And every comment now is over here on the right side. I mean, is this just the dumbest, ugliest layout ever? You don't need information. YouTube will tell you what information they say you need. I mean, yeah, I guess. Holy shit. It's just bad, man. Yeah, so I think if you, a lot of people don't have this yet, but they are rolling this out. I know it's not just me. Other people do have it. Sean just said. Um, it happens when you update. <laughs> update what? Your OS, Chrome, what? It happens when you update. Last night, Steel Toe Morning Show does their Steel Toe Evening Show for members. It's a Sunday night. They usually do two hours of show, him and April. As you've heard, they were all sick. And, um, and they almost didn't do it. But Aaron climbed online to do a morning show. I really think they're, they're phasing out evening shows. They used to do Monday through Thursday evening shows. Now they only do Monday through Wednesday. Last week they canceled one. They've been canceling them. They've been phoning it in a little more. Maybe your memory is full. Okay, I can't. I can't even do that. Chromium? I mean, God, everyone really is dumb. Okay, here we go. Watch this. This is what Mubi did last night 
and thinks is a show. These guys don't even know what shows are anymore. Mooby couldn't stop screaming that he was in another league. Uh, you remember April saying, no one can hold a candle to us. What we do, we do a show like nobody could ever do. This is their members only show. Real talk. So it's 34 minutes long and two minutes in is just fluff. And Aaron shows Afternoon, up. Afternoon, I think. Welcome. Hey, everybody. Oh, probably wondering why the uh, members show is so early. No. <clears throat> it's probably going to be the same reason why it's so short. As you can hear, I have not been doing well. Uh, April's actually been doing worse than I have. Believe it or not, I've been the caretaker uh, of the home this weekend. Now, on Friday's show, April was like, I bounce back, I rally, can't keep me down, I recover fast. Now he's like, she's been dead all weekend. Uh, whether it's the kids or April or dishes or laundry or anything else, basically when you have two sick humans in the house, the least sick one has to do shit. Again, this is basic stuff that you would assume... Yeah, someone has to cook and do laundry and clean, guys. So it's pretty unique over here at the M. Holt household. You guys probably don't have this kind of stuff to deal with. Laundry, kids, jobs, cleaning, cooking. Uh... And I am the least sick one out of the two of us. So what he's basically saying is April usually does everything, and I've had to do some work this weekend and not just play video games. I am hot. Uh, my voice is gone. I've been coughing shit up for days now. It sucks. It's ass. It's terrible. But the show goes on. So what I thought I'd do is I'd pop on for a little bit. Um, obviously, as the, the same as it was with the Wednesday evening show this week, uh, or lack thereof. Look at him. He started this wi this weird little wiggling thing. Now he's doing this. Just doing this while he sits alone. He's almost self-soothing and rocking. The item to protect is always the morning show. The item to protect is always the morning show. Uh, the morning show has the biggest audience. The morning show makes the most money. Uh, and again... Just if you go over John's Neglect the Cat's numbers, for it's like literally $30 a show, $40 a show, the most money. If, it, if none of them ever get over 50, do, do you really need to start counting the most? It's like, you know, it's enough for two cocktails in a Vegas nightclub. Uh, the morning show is basically uh, how we eat. Again... You know, just going over the numbers. Can, uh, John's neglected cat. I hate to make you uh, get out your T T I eighty three calculator, but what were the numbers for the morning, the Steel Toe Morning Show all last week? Can somebody go on John's neglected cat Twitter and add them up? Just five days. What were what What did the morning show make? Because they said this is how we eat. So uh, I also don't want to take shows away from people. So people expect a members-only show. They'll at least get some kind of recording. See, I didn't do a members-only show because I'm not going to do a half-hour members-only show. I'll just make it up this week. Again, probably this afternoon. Uh, I'll make it members-only. That will say <laughs> members-only on it. Will it be an hour? Probably not. Uh, will it be very good? Probably not. But what I'm trying to do is conserve my voice. So I'm trying to conserve my voice and save it for tomorrow's show. So I'm going to come on and not really try tonight. Again, I'd rather be the tryhard, I guess, or what he thinks a tryhard is. Conserve my health, deliver a product tomorrow. But I did want to come on at some point today and tell you guys, hey, you know, we're here. Tiger Lily makes a great point. What's the plan? How do they survive old age? 
Again, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they made last week. The number's going to be underwhelming. Um, last week six hundred and fifty dollar gross, four fifty five net, five hundred dollars. And don't forget, Johnny Crutches has to get paid for two shows out of that. Does it hurt yet? Does it hurt yet? Who's the loser? You fucking idiot. He just said, our morning show is what makes the most. Five shows, 20 hours, 455. And let's say he only pays Johnny 50 a show, which is fucking pathetic for four hours of work. It should be a minimum of 100. 100. That would leave him with 255 left to split with April. Hello? Hello, Red Roofin. Hello, Section 8 housing. Hello, WIC vouchers. What aisles the beans and cheese on again? Go get your juicy juice and your milk. It, but even if he only gives Johnny a hundred, that's three fifty-five for two people for five days. This is how we eat. What? The wagyu brisket I just got cost one hundred and fifty dollars. Then what? Buns. So the fact that they admit this stuff is fucking insane. This is how we eat. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're making it, at least. We're making it, at least. At least we're making it. We're doing it. But uh, I am heating up like crazy right now down here. This is brutal. Um, I don't feel great. I'm going to rest up today. I'm going to rest up tonight. And then maybe take off the hoodie if you're hot. Just a thought. Going to do a great show with you for Johnny tomorrow. <laughs> Even grimaces after he says that. Tomorrow will be awesome. It just uh, what ended up hitting our family was this. Our family. Just you and April. Ashley LaRue has been told by a judge she has to let her family come over and pretend to love their father but it's like i thought monday that it was going to be covid like i started with a cough monday it's a really bad cough like a persistent cough and then tuesday i still had a persistent cough and then wednesday i felt just a little run down and then now remember he does a show every day he's already told you all this and thursday i felt obliterated still went to boxing uh friday felt like shit Saturday felt semi like shit. And now today, probably still around semi like shit. But I think the the week's worth of coughing has definitely caused some voice box uh, problems, some maybe some throat swelling or whatever. And my voice isn't where I'd like it to be. Uh, fucking so sunflower I, again, seeds. I'm fucking sweating my balls off in this thing right now. But the Gophers play Nebraska on the road today. I got to support my squad. We got to get into that tournament. Is Moody around? Um, uh, super tips don't even fucking pop up for me now. It's getting crazy. Uh, April brought up the history thing because she knows Aaron definitely has time. She's sick of him being a grown man and father playing video games. No, she knows what she signed up for. If you look, if your husband or boyfriend plays video games your fiance and you marry him like what you think he's gonna stop playing video games and take the family seriously no no it doesn't work that way every adult i know that plays video games has kids who become adults to play video games they all have seven kids those kids all play video games it's just a loser lifestyle across the board being that into video games how many women around the world don't get fucked like they should because their man just can't put down the controller? It really is an epidemic. Krautcat, you single-handedly ruined Steeltail with a freestyle of his stupid intro theme song. 
I don't know if that's true, but a lot of people get a lot of credit for a lot of stuff. Drive by. Aaron M. Holt is nothing but a witless douchebag who lives in an imaginary world where he wins all his fights and gets fucked in the ass by unicorns. You think that's part of it? He really, he's into that? Ich hab einen Termin bei der Bank. I have an appointment at the Bahamian National Credit Union, converting money to gold bars. Cash is dead. I have an appointment at the blood bank. I have an appointment at the check cashing place that's inside the McDonald's. Is there a check cashing place inside McDonald's? McCash. But uh, we got a lot to talk about tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of business to do. Johnny and I will have a lot to discuss, a lot of fun stuff. But uh, as far as the members only show, I'm going to read a little chat from you guys. I'm going to hang out for a little bit. Then I'm going to rest my voice and I'm going to take the rest of the night. He came on to read chat from you guys. And hopefully get it. It's like Chad. I think that's Chad's uh, whole MO for a show. Hey, guys, I'm here. What's going on? (laughs) Okay, Chad. Okay, Ray. Good show going for tomorrow. How's that sound? Uh, you COVID again? No, it's not. Co- I did think it was going to be COVID on Monday, but I didn't get any of that joint pain or anything else. Uh, Aaron, you gave the wife super gonorrhea of the throat. You're the worst. Uh, yeah, April was. Now Aaron kicks his feet up into April's chair and gets more comfy. And this will continue. It's in rough shape, man. She had a temperature of around 102 until late this morning. Ooh. And now she's bounced back. Uh, she has been uh, li- literally blowing her nose bloody. Lucky nose. Uh, Hot. It's actually kind of terrifying. Like, I went in the bathroom, and I see bloody tissues in the garbage. And I'm like, Jesus April looks Christ like a really cool And then I realized she's had a cold and a, a fever. And she's been blowing her nose for three days straight. And I'm like, oh, no. She blew her nose so bad, she's getting nosebleeds. That's Fucking what she said. <laughs> Uh, Fauci's pangolin says that spider on your head is sucking your brain juice out. Uh, go to sleep, you bum. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, soy genetic says in this buzz, 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 buzz. Thank you. Uh, damn, take care of your voice, homie. So soy genetic says in this buzz, did, 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 buzz. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? Soy genetic says in this buzz, did, 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 buzz. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, go boxing and get everyone sick, says Dick Kicky. I didn't know how sick I was on Dick Kicky till Friday. You know, Thursday, I thought I was just coming down from taking edibles on Wednesday for one of the first times in my life. Aaron doesn't know the difference between being severely ill and taking 10 milligrams of edibles. He's like, I could have COVID or I could just be. Hung over from a tiny amount of weed I took y- yesterday. <laughs> I thought that was the... Turns out I was just getting really sick. By the way, does Kate Meany know that Gino and Steel Toe are best buds and that, you know, Kate hates Gino and Keanu? I mean, this this shows you how dumb this bitch is. She, Someone please team up with me and help. Someone... Uh, Dr. Chow, love Dr. Chow, says get an IV at an IV clinic. Love Dr. Chow, says Steel Toe. Oof. That's not an endorsement you want. Love Dr. Chow. So cool, so very cool. Cool guy. Love Dr. Chow. Chow, chow, chow. Cool, cool, cool guy. He's like, I, I hear Citizen M cringe every time, every time, uh, Aaron lies and says, Citizen M's a big fan of the show. <laughs> I hear Citizen M go, Ugh, I don't watch it like that. Get HIV at an IV clinic. That'd be a story. Uh, sounds like you had what I had a couple of weeks ago. It lasted for two weeks, says Crack and Slapping. Holy shit. I thought one week was a lot. Eaton Clam says, call Dr. Gino. He'll prescribe whiskey. Carlos says, when Aaron gets sick, April turns into a full-blown tuberculosis PSA. This is the same as the show um, uh, uh, April did by herself. Just no ideas. It's going nowhere. He just sits back and reads. I I hope Aaron gets here soon. Just have full-blown, you know, disaster scarlet fever. 
Hit the like button. She had to story top me on that deal. Uh, We have been sick for the whole past week, says Red Fox Mad. Uh, Piffy Puff says April's Coke nosebleeds. Yes. You know what? You're right, Piffy Puff. Puff. Why go with... He's right. If you've got a good story, don't let the facts get in the way. Why would we go with April has been laid up in bed for three days with a cold and a fever and has been blowing her nose raw? Why would we go with that story when we could go with April's been doing copious amounts of cocaine and her nose is bleeding? And that's where the fever came from. Uh, We've known you're sick for some time now. Snoogans, says T. Jefferson. I haven't gotten a Snoogans in a while. Brett Mack says, uh, could have gotten you sick. Who knows what they put in the dispenser? I mean, it's literally just him reading the chat. Quid? Uwid? I don't know. This is the members only show. Yes, everyone. This is the members only show. Dick Hickey says, did they find the dick that messed with Chrissy and Kiki's show? No, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. I woke up with a bloody nose this morning, says SH. It's all that Coke. Uh, Taste Fairy says April needs Coke to work that second job, though. That's true. It's like every fucking idiot on Twitter. They all just make the same joke. It doesn't matter if it's like, you you know, like, Anytime I post anything about a plane or a flight, four people rush immediately to go like, you could get on a plane? You don't wait too many for a plane? Do you have to, I bet you had to get two seat. I bet it cost a lot for cause fat. Like there'll be four people who go do that. And of course there will be, of course, just of course. Like how could there not be? The one that gets me is the guy who comes and sees the tweet two days later and goes should i fuck yeah do you probably had to get two seats then probably probably you had to get two seats two days later that's my favorite one they go i do have i do have the most Easy, low-hanging fruit joke that could possibly be made. And I do see it seven times beneath the chat from days ago. But I, I think I got a little different take on it. I think I got a little different take. Two seeds! Zen. That's my favorite. It's my favorite guy. Now, you can't get mad at the basic guys. They're just basic. Like the seat joke. Right, right, right. The seat joke. Right, right, right. It's the guy who two days later goes, I wonder if anybody said this yet. And I know they have because I can see them. But I don't see you probably had to get a fat. Don't see the. You probably had to get a. See another one for your other fat. Ha ah, send. <laughs> hey, shut up. Why is Siri talk? Shut up. Great. Now my whole thing went away. I think she found me two seats on a flight. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry. Morning show gig. I saw that. I saw that screenshot. Listen to this. Yeah, someone trying trying to troll people, saying like Aaron got a morning show job. Now nobody who knows anything about morning shows or how morning shows work believe this. Mark my words, Aaron will not get another terrestrial radio job. There's no program director worth their weight in baby dick. Who would put this man on the air with his current vocabulary and broadcast tendencies. It's just not responsible. I went, boy, you know, the internet really does have a remarkable losing percentage. Like, the internet really does get shit wrong 100% of the time. And I think they actually deserve to be commended for that. Because it takes effort to be wrong that often. But there was, I saw a friend of mine actually sent me a screenshot and said... Hey, congratulations on your new radio gig. And I saw what the radio gig was, and I was like, God, I'm sure that would pay a lot of money. All 
they think about is money. Is money. It's the biggest problem on their minds. They can't stop combing through the couch cushions for dollars. Every single thing is being framed through the lens of money. That we we got to take care of the morning show. The money, morning show pays our bills. It's where we make the most money. God, I bet that would pay well. Ugh. And look at the desperation on his face. We all know he made that Facebook post last week. He admitted on the show that was a wolf whistle to anybody with a radio job that he would love to do it. That sure would be nice. Yes. Yes, it would. And I'm sure they're working on it. But uh, look, I don't want to break anybody's heart. Again, only an idiot would think at 40 years old, he's got a second chance at a career that will not exist in a decade or two. Broadcast radio professionals. Sending signals over metal sticks here on the terra firma will not be, you know, this is going to be reserved for ham radio operators in about 10, 20 years. But Mooby thinks like it's an emerging market. He's like, you know what I should get into? Radio. I'm in a uh, Sauk Rapids. I think we're 220 in radio markets. And, yeah, I think 2024 is going to be the year radio starts making a comeback. I don't want to make any uh, haters of Steel Toe feel bad, so I'll just pat him on the head and go, in time, son. In time. So now he's like, I'm not in a rush. Whenever they want to call me back up to the majors, I'll be ready. There'll be, t- there'll be time. There's plenty of time left. For old Aaron M. Holt to get a job. Thera flew with whiskey and some honey with a bit of hot sauce. You will feel better. That just sounds like you're getting me to throw burning objects down my throat, which is really mean of you. There's a lot of flu going around worldwide. Worldwide. Thera flu, honey, lemon, water, and Tabasco. He's like, all those burning objects. It's like, no, just Tabasco. You think honey burns? You think Theraflu burn? You think water burn? He just heard Tabasco. He's like, "That's that's just a bunch of things that are on fire." No, just just one, just one. My friend and my mom in bed for a week. It happens. Brett Max says, "It's just the chafe they've been pumping into the atmosphere for the past decade, catching up with us all." Oh, the um, what do you call that? The chemtrails. Sure. Uh, SH says she should try meth. It's cheaper and will keep her sinuses clear. That's good health advice, I guess. Uh, Snort meth. Can't have clogged sinuses if you have no nose. That's not bad. Uh, Kleist could get rare. So now he's reading chats going, that's pretty good. Reads another chat. That's not bad. Reads another chat. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) It's like, this is nothing. These aren't shows. Uh, I'm going to show you the Chad one after this. Like, these guys don't know what they're doing. They have no clue anymore. He's like, I went live just to, like, read some chats. Chad only goes live because he doesn't, like, I I tell people I do a podcast. What else am I going to do? I got to go live. I haven't done a podcast, so I need to do a podcast. What's it going to be about? I don't know, but I got to do a podcast. (laughs) I just haven't done one in a while. I got to do a podcast. Opponent in St. Cloud mayoral race. I doubt. I mean, I'm sure he will, but nobody will vote for him. People like him. Uh, Piffy Puff says, not if you snort the ice like Tuco. That's true. Tuco knew how to snort ice. So he just reads the chat and goes, yeah, that is true. Fucking maniac. Mr. Nobody says, if it keeps up, go get checked for strep. Okay. All right. Oh, that's true. Have you tried putting butter on your ass? Oh, no, that sounds like it's true. Says Fauci's penguin. You know, 
Whether or not that would help, uh, no, I have not tried putting water on my ass. Madame says, hi, how are you in April feeling? I missed Rumble Friday as I don't like Gino. Thought Gino was on, so I skipped Rumble Friday. I'm sad I missed it as April was on. I love Rumble Friday with April. Say Rumble Friday again. Say April again. Say Rumble Friday again. Say April again. You know, I thought I... Uh, hi. How about it, there, Hey, 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 hey. Mr. Milton, how you doing there, Mr. Milton? Oh, I'm great. How are you, <laughs> buzzard? I'm mighty fine. I appreciate you filling in for me on Friday. I, I'm sorry I was out all day looking for a key for my custom tires. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Doing that. <laughs> yeah. You'll you'll never you'll never do that again. That's right. They got that dealership. They got me. <laughs> Listen here, can you imagine that bullshit he's broadcasting right now being pumped through an FM radio station? Apparently. Random chats. <laughs> I'm going to a gun show later this weekend, and I'm going to ask them if they got the ammunition that only Mr. Melton can provide, the ammunition loaded with truth, yeah. realism. And when they put it in the gun, you stand right there in the middle of the gun show. You cock that shotgun. You aim it up at the at the roof of the gun show. And when it fires, you scream. You got him. You got him, Mr. Melton. You got him. <laughs> you got that roofing cut. Jesus. You got him, Melton. You got him. Reload. Reload, Melton. Get out of the car. You got him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh God, we can't can't have a day without old Buzzard ben Benjamin on the trail. On the trail, guys. Have you seen the video of Chad Zumach robbing the liquor store yet? Have you seen the video of Chad Zumach robbing the liquor store yet? It's pretty much Chad's uniform. You know, and I guess this was in uh, Ohio. Chad decided he was going to rob a liquor store. Oh, boy. Now, it's you could argue that you can't prove it's Chad. But again, it's like the Chad Zumach uniform. He's got his stupid earbuds. He's got the Chad Zumach haircut. He's got the gut. He's got the double hoodies on. This might even be a gray hoodie with a blazer. And he's in a liquor store and he's so dumb. You'll see him walk up this way. Look at the camera for a split second. Continue to walk over here. And then shove a bottle of the cheapest vodka. Again, it, it looks to me like Smirnoff or Stoli. Down his pants. And then watch out, think, uh, walk out thinking he's got this. So here he is. He's got the bottle in his hand. If you can't see, he's got the bottle here. He's looking around. Watch over to the corner, puts it in the pantalones, checks it. Yep. All good. Walking out like the Z man. Now look, watch him here. This is a, a rewind. Watch him look up at the camera. Right there. He's checking out the camera. Like that's just a fact. He's looking up at the camera. He sees it. And he's so dumb. He walks over to the camera to steal the food. The, uh, sorry, that was a different time to steal the, uh, liquor. Look, checking down the aisle. See at this point he has it in his shirt. He like pulls it out of his shirt and then shoves it down his pants. Just really great. Smooth, smooth stuff. Nobody will know. Looks so natural, no one can tell until you're in jail. 
Ooh. Z man at his finest. Now look, you can you could say like either we don't know that that's Chad. We do. We do. I mean, come on. It's pathetic. Chad appeared uh Saturday and did his famous show Kumi as Cucks. He's now been doing Kumi as Cucks for over a year. This one was called Why is E-Rock still a compound? Why is he even still got a job? Chad is now picking fights with people for no reason. He has no idea why or he's going after Chrissy Mayer. Again, Chrissy Mayer doesn't talk about Chad. Doesn't know he exists. Going after um um E-Rock and you might say, Patrick, you won't go after Chrissy Mayer or E-Rock. It's like, I will. I will. We, we've we gone after E-Rock. We've watched it. He's pathetic. He's talentless. He's got nothing. We watch it and we move on. Chad's been doing this for a year. Carl, Kumia, Ray, Kumia, Chrissy, Kumia, E-Rock, Kumia, Kevin, Kumia. It's Kumia's cucks. Now, again, this is blended itself with all of his other brands sit down zoom Oc, the football show mondays with mazer they're all the same show now it's just whatever chad's going to talk about today a lot of memories uh he'll spend a lot of time telling you about how this doesn't even matter to him he's got a real life he does real stuff that's what chad's podcast is now but my 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 supposition is that he doesn't know how to do it anymore. Like, and I don't mean that lightly and I don't mean it hyperbolically. I don't, I think Chad doesn't know what he's doing. Doesn't have an idea. And is literally just, if I go live, read some chats, throw some shit at the wall, look like I'm trying to do something it'll pass. So, you know, normally we watch Chad and make fun of Chad. I'd really like to just watch portions of this show that he did Saturday and really break down. Is this a show? We're going to pause it after everything Chad tries and just ask the question, is this a show? Is this a show? Cause steel toe putting his feet up behind the desk and calling it a members only show while he reads the chat and goes, yeah, good point. Yeah. Good point. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. Good point. That's not a show. I, I don't think these guys can do shows. So we've got to watch it. We're going to get into it. The opening should tell us, uh, everything we need to know here. <laughs> So it's Carl, Chrissy Mayer, Gino, Kevin. Don't forget, Kevin's still on this with Steel Toe. Kevin's Akumi is cut. Okay, watch this. I want you to remember while you watch what you're about to watch that every time this image blinks on and off, Chad is clicking a button. That's the important thing to, to remember right here. Every time, and this goes on way longer than it should, Chad is sitting there clicking a mouse button. Woo! Yeah! Look at all these cocks! So, this is what he has. He just blinking this image on and off. I mean, for way too long, like cocking it up. Let's hit the goal. This is like when he kept playing that, that gun sound over and over again. And I'm not kidding you. It was for 15 minutes, 15 minutes, just playing a gun sound over and over. And it's, it's more impressive of a statement towards his, retardation when you think about he 
He doesn't have anything automated. He's clicking a button over and over and over. He's just clicking a button, blinking this, going like, we're doing it. Fuck yeah. And of course, he's drunk. Look at his hair. Look at his eyes. Look at his movements. Let's do it. We're doing it. We're ha- still blinking this image on and off. Still blinking it. Having it. Hit the like button. Do all the stuff. Do things. Gift memberships. Gifted memberships. Sign- Hit the like button. Gift memberships. Guys, gift memberships. I-, I just noticed nobody in our chat is gifting a membership. Why not? Guys, why aren't you gifting memberships? I don't understand. Hit the like button. Gift a membership. Um, yeah, Jiggly Doo Doo Itch says, Hey, Aaron Dewa, diddy diddy dum diddy dee. I agree. Hometown homie with an erect clitoris says, Hey, Aaron, go fuck yourself. Very cool. A poofy poo poo. Peaky P face says, April is my girlfriend. You can have her for $50 for the whole night. Figgy Figgy Momo Juice says, April looks like a really stupid cow today. <laughs> uh, 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 Captain Fartigas says, eat my ass with a spoon. Thanks. Galactic Spatula Master says, if you put on some makeup, you'll look like a woman. You're right. I'm a homo. Professor Bubble Butt says, I got the bubble guts. Jesus. What a loser. Lord Snuggle Muffin says, you, you want to <laughs> fuck Nick Recchietta? Mmm. I combed. April looks like a really cool bird today. Sign up to the Patreon. Guys, sign up to the Patreon. Give to membership. He's still blinking an image on and off screen. I, again, imagine how pickled your brain has to be to sit here and click a mouse for this long. Going live at 11, punks. Yeah, baby. Woo! 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 Blank, 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 blank. Click, click, click. Woo! Woo! Gift a membership. Sign up for Patreon. Again, the show is promoting the show. The show is telling you about the show. Everything about Chad's show will be, sorry, there wasn't a show. There will be a show. This will be up later. Subscribe to Patreon for shows. Uh, couldn't do a show this week. I was doing something way cooler than this. This is pathetic. I'm above this. You guys are losers. Sign up for the Patreon. Don't be, this will be up later. Is Chad drunk? Still blinking the thing. And now addressing the drunk accusations. Because, of course, they've started already in his chat. At 11 o'clock? Nope. Not at all. Not at all, idiots. You're all cucks and losers. Hit the like button and give me money. Oh. How are you? Again, if if Chad's not drunk, and I always say this is the tell, the hair. If you're not drunk and you go live with that, I mean. When I was a young boy, my father took me to a coffee shop and hit me with a mug. And I said, Daddy, you're not my real daddy. Your last name isn't Zumok. I'm gonna be a loser. If you're not, look, if you're not drunk, it's just an unawareness, the likes of which, Again, to think that that's clear and good. <laughs> I mean, this is the guy we're dealing with. And why would you even address that? People say I do every show hammer drunk. It's like, yeah, sure. Sure. Ooh. No, I'm not drunk, idiots. <laughs> this is how he starts every show. Welcome to Kumia's Cucks, everybody. The number one show on the internet that's his brain that's what he's got 
the number one show on the internet. Fuck, I really painted myself into a corner with that. Goes Kumias Cox, Joe Rogan, Club Shay Shay. You couldn't even think of a third one. That order. That order. Don't believe me? Google it. All right. We've done the blinking. We've told everybody to sign up and give me money. We said hello. Let's start the show. It's the Z Man, Florida's greatest comic. Mr. I 95, the Lowry's chip dip consumer. The man in black, Mr. I 95. Can't even remember his own intro. Been live and direct from Tampa, Florida, where I almost three and a half years ago moved here. This is just a podcast. On his mind, out of the gate, I I'm in Tampa. I moved here. Three and a half years ago. Again, I haven't seen this. Let me guess. During the pandemic, I knew I wanted to just retire. I, my idea was just to do shows around Florida. I mean, why is this on your mind every day? So three and a half years ago. During the shutdowns, the pandemic. From Los Angeles, California, because I wanted freedom. Now, he's told this a million different ways. I, I, I escaped California to get freedom. He also said, I, I wanted to move here and give up and retire. It's like, we all know he had one possible apartment on the planet he can move into. Gladwell Apes. <laughs> he couldn't get another apartment. We all know it. Again, why is this coming up at the beginning of your show? Why? Why is this on your mind today? I wanted freedom. I wanted to get away from all the nonsense, not just the pandemic. Pandemic. But L.A. in general. I want to get away from all of it. All he does is talk about Nick Swartzen, Brody Stevens, T.J. Miller. But he does want to get away. One of the biggest red flags when I moved out to L.A. Was tech- Again, he's turned away now. He's looking off into the distance. It's like, it's like if I was doing a show like this for you. And uh, just all of a sudden, like, yeah, it was three years ago. I moved to Florida during the pandemic from L.A. I did it for freedom. I don't want to be a part of that. I knew that that was a toxic place. A lot of red flag. Who who are you? There's, your show's over here. Who are you looking off to? What are you pining about? This thing with Brody Stevens. We're going to run a, this room in the valley, and we were going to do like a mini tour. We already had Zanies in Chicago booked. The deal was. We were going to do a mini tour. We had one club booked. For some reason, Brody couldn't get in the comedy clubs. He had all these credits, like he was in the Hangover movies, Comedy Central. He had his own TV show. Yeah, Brody wasn't a great comic. For some reason, Brody couldn't get in the comedy clubs. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. And not a lot of people know this, except for people who are in the know about the business. Brody Stevens taped a Comedy Central present. This has never happened, ever. Brody Stevens had a breakdown because he got no laughter during his Comedy Central Presents taping, and they had to re-tape it. This has never happened, ever. He had a breakdown on stage, sat down and started pretty much crying during the taping. He's not a good comic. He's not a great comic. He was a comic that other comics like to stand in the back of the room and go like, Brody's fucking crazy. For some reason, he couldn't get booked in clubs. 
Huh. But he couldn't get booked in comedy clubs because he's so crazy. And what's your excuse, Chad? Why can't you get booked in comedy club? Again, I, I'm not kidding. I, I had shows booked this year. I've canceled more headlining dates this year than Chad's had. I, I really was going to go back out again this year. I canceled more headlining dates this year than Chad has had. First of all, Chad doesn't really have headlining dates. Yeah, he'll drive up 13 hours to do that one night at the loft in Georgia. But other than that, it's Chad's an opener. Chad's an opener. And, and again, only for people who who feel bad for Chad, who he contacts directly. Nobody's calling Chad to book Chad. It doesn't, it doesn't happen. Avant-garde and weird. So I was like, well, I already work these clubs. I'll get you in. I mean, he's hammered. For him to pretend like he's not drinking is wild. We've made this man turn into a lush. But the deal was. And again, if you're not, if you're not drunk, you're retarded. Because we can see how slow your brain's working. I'll get you in the clubs. You get me in the baseball field. Because he had Major League Baseball access. So hold on. Chad was going to get Brody Steven into the clubs. Again, Chad has never, ever, ever toured and done comedy full-time in his life. Fact. Chad has never been out on the road most weeks of the year doing comedy in his life. Just like Josh Denny. Just like Gino Bisconte. Sorry. And I know all these guys think they're like higher up and better. Uh, you, you, you've you never done comedy as a full-time regular job. Ever. Ever. You just, like, it's a lie. But go on. So we were going to tour all these cities with ballparks. And uh, the deal was we do the show that night. He gets me on the field. It's that simple. But I was living there for about a month. And then uh, a year, was it five years, two days ago or one day ago? Everyone following this story? Is everyone following this story? And then we were going to do it. And then was it we go out? And it was like a year, or was it a month? I was living there, and then, I mean, he's so drunk, he can't tell the story. I wish I was kidding. Say it again, Chad. Uh, a year, was it five years, two days ago, or one day ago? Brody uh, took his life. We had a whole tour planned, and he killed himself. Tell me you didn't have a tour plan without telling me you didn't have a tour plan. <laughs> and Brody, careful, Stella B. He'll turn on you. Don't don't catch him. Don't catch. Uh, don't let him catch you laughing at him. You're like one of his precious. I hear him mention your name every show. There's Stella B. She's a good actor. Stevens. You fucked me, buddy. So now Brody Stevens fucked him. You fucked Muscle him. milk, protein, magnets, apple cider, vinegar. I take it and you should too. Not anymore. So is this a show? We were going to go out on a tour. I don't remember much about it, but he really fucked me. Not anymore. What? Not anymore. Is this a show? Type one if this is a show. Type two if this is a drunk man rambling. I'm just curious. Is it a show yet? Is this a show? Look at him. He's just brain dead while he stares at his screen. 
Ah, wow. Super Chat's out of the gate. Look at this. Grizzly Adams, everybody. Four ninety nine. Thank you, Grizzly Adams. Hey, Mud Shark. Thoughts on truly buying fake views slash gifted memberships in chats. Also, high school dropout homeschooling his kids seems unusual, right? Full disclosure. I don't care. With all due respect, Grizzly Adams, I don't give a shit. It's a great way to keep getting super chats it's to not answer the question posed to you. If he's buying fake views or if he's not, I don't care at all. I don't. I really don't. Do you care, though? I know it's like the end of the world for some people, and they think it's all like, can you believe it? Can you believe it? I don't care. I don't think he cares, guys. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if truly has a GED. I don't care if he went to Harvard. I don't care, you know. Think of something funny. Think of a third example that's funny, Chad. The great thing is Chad always tries to stumble out onto these limbs to, to do comedy. And then you get to see him fall flat on his face. I have no idea what he's about to say. But it's a comedy rule of threes. He's like, I don't care if you got a GD. I don't care if you went to Harvard. I don't care. And now he's looking out the window trying to get inspiration for a funny idea. Let's hear the third. What he's doing with his kids. I don't oh, okay. care. I really don't. And I, I, I'm i sorry. I appreciate this. I've never said this, that I don't care about something this much that I don't care about. He must have said it 10 times super chat but i i just don't give a fuck you you have to understand who who goes off on a tangent about how much they don't care people say when they're off the internet they don't care about what's going on they don't pay attention it's all bullshit me on the other hand i don't okay so chad does this all the time guys this isn't real life None of this matters. This isn't real life. I have a real life. I don't. Once I leave here, same steel toe. I'm not kidding you. Chad drinks to excess and has suicidal thoughts about me. I'm not even, I'm not even, I don't even have a doubt about this. Again, at 943 last night, he's texting Joe Howard about me. That Joe Howard stuff was a week ago, a week it was fr uh, Friday's member show a week ago. Chad don't ever stop thinking about this shit. Again, in the past month, multiple emails and phone calls from Chad Zumach to me. Afternoon, night, morning. Texting other people about me. Afternoon, morning, night. He don't stop. He don't stop pickling his brain with cope about me. Fact. Fact. I, I, I didn't text anyone about Chad yesterday. I took my dog up on the mountain and played in the snow. I mean, this is, I, I, it's just insane to even bring up. Guys, little thing you don't know about me. I don't care about any of this stuff, even though I never shut the fuck up about it and never stopped doing damage control behind the scenes. It's like Kate Meany. Your show doesn't bother me. I think you're really funny. Please, Steel Toe, let's team up and take Melton down. Anyone? Anyone help, please? Please? I'm The last two days, you know what I've been doing the last two days? People are like, where are you? You running? You hiding? No. People are like, where are you? Are you running? Are you hiding? No. No. Uh, Crowdcat. Chad has to constantly repeat his stories because they're lies, and it helps him remember to keep justifying them. Uh, piggy, 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 piggy. That's a fact. I'm a piggy, piggy, a piggy for yummy cummy in my tummy provided by Big Newport Cock. I am not alcoholic. I am big boy pig A, so I can has more Tito's, please. I can has more Tito's, please. Again. I can has more Tito's, please. I was in Clearwater. I got a hotel on the beach. 
Oh. Melton's in Hawaii right now. His life sucks. With a friend. I got a hotel on the beach with a friend. And we want to know. Ooh, we want to know. I just lived life. It was fucking great. I didn't care. I went. I mean, again, people who do this don't bring it up. I wasn't thinking about any of this. I was just there, living life on the beach. This is all dumb. I don't care about any of this. You know where I've been? The beach. Not thinking about any of this. That's where I've been. That's where I've been. And don't forget, this is Saturday morning. Yeah, on Thursday, I packed up and headed to the beach. Uh Uh-huh. Definitely wasn't in a drunk tank. Do not search arrest records in Florida. Definitely. I went with my friend to the beach, idiots. You know me. I'm always swimming at the beach. I, w- I wasn't paying attention to anything. I don't watch any of this stuff when I'm at the beach. I'm just doing beach things. Again, wh- who talks like this if they don't? Like, it- it's like a teen girl. It really is like a teen girl. I don't even think about any of this. I don't do any of this stuff. I don't care about any of you guys. Okay, lady. Okay. Bone in the Carbarian gifting a membership. Helping out our membership train. Oh, this gets Chad. Guys, buy a membership. Open up your membership tabs. Mr. Panhandler gifting a membership. Tiff gifting a membership. She's done too much. Say no more. Um, says Junior Soprano had more insightful and funny things to say in his wheelchair in the old folks' home in a two-minute scene than Chad or Steeltoe uh, ever will have to say. I do think that's true. At least Junior Soprano was playing like he had dementia part of the time. Leo got $5. Speaking of not uh, answering the question, did you see Chad's explanation of the liquor store video when I asked him about it on Stut Joe's show yesterday let me guess he said that's old chad thinks crimes don't uh chad thinks crimes don't count if they're old he'll be like uh i didn't get a dui for driving into that tree he got pled down to reckless operation it's like okay okay were you charged with a dui yes it's like it's like the credit cards. No, it got pled down. I I I didn't go to jail for uh, seventeen counts to commit credit card fraud and and theft from the elderly. Uh, Leo Gunn said, uh, "No, he said you're obsessed with him." Sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because you stole a bottle of vodka and it's on tape and you did it in the dumbest way, comedically possible, I'm just sad. Right, right. You broke into a girlfriend's house. You broke into a friend's house. But I'm sad. Stalking charges. You stole a sandwich because you didn't want, you know, you couldn't afford to buy a sandwich. Melton's just sad. Pointing out all the felonies I've committed. It's just pathetic and sad. Skeddy Def, a.k.a. Dayla. Oh, boy. This will be a thing. Uh, new member. Thank you very much for uh, joining up, Sketty. Sketty, Dave. Take minks off. Take things off. Take chains off. Take rings off. Bracklets is yap yeah, Fame came off. Antoop. Fool what you want, we stifling fools. Fool what you want, your life or your jewels. From the street, cousin, you know the drill. I'm 999, now short of the goal. Hey, how you doing, little mama? Let me whisper in your ear, tell you something that you might like to hear. Hey, bitch, wait till you see my dick. I I didn't watch Kevin's show. I didn't watch Ray. Mel, I didn't watch anything. I just didn't care. He doesn't watch this stuff, guys. Again, does anyone tell you more that they don't watch things and you know for a fact that they do? It's why he has to keep saying it. He knows their lies, and he also knows you don't believe it. That's why he constantly has to go like, no, no, I really didn't watch this weekend. No, this weekend I didn't watch Melton or any of it. It's like, Chad, you've said for three months you don't watch it. Why would you keep bringing it up? You said three months ago, I don't watch any Melton. I don't watch any Ray. 
even though you pull up Melton and Ray and watch them on your show. So why do you have to keep telling us every weekend that you don't, I don't watch it, I don't pay any attention, I don't watch it, I really don't. I was at the beach with a friend. <laughs> don't. I'd rather go live life and just get- Yeah, man. I, he's, look, he's just got a lot of friends and activities. Chad, Chad's just living life, losers. Melton doesn't leave his house. Away from all of this. It's Don't forget Gladwell Ape. Chad's, Chad's fucking landlord told me Chad never leaves his apartment. He said every once in a while he'd get on his bike to go to the store or to go to a movie by himself. But Gladwell Ape literally said it's pre- he's pretty boring. He doesn't leave the house. You know, a lot of people, a lot of you guys uh, get mad at me. You're like, you don't podcast enough. You don't. The thing is, I'm just at the beach, guys. Also, I don't know what it would be about. It's like, Chad, if you hadn't podcasted for a week because you were out living life, wouldn't you come back and have some stories? Again, I just went out to a dinner Friday night, and yet I'm, you know, telling you about this dumb bitch. And her husband who keeps throwing her phone at me. I know you guys want me to podcast more. I know you do. I know you do. But I just don't have the time, guys. I, 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 I'm out there. I sleep here, but I live. Out there. In the world. That's why I come back and regale you guys with so many stories. Remember the one I had about T.J. Miller and I and the lobster? Remember the great steak I had at that pizza place? You'll never take the beach away from me. I know you guys want me to podcast more. The fact is I just, I don't have time, man. Between full-time comedianing and the beach... Dude, I just don't have time. I'll try to tell you as many of the fun beach stories with my friend as I can. I can't promise it. I do have a clip of Chrissy and Frank that I want to show three minutes of before I get bored with it because I didn't pull any interesting parts or anything. And I know you guys want me to do more. Again, if you're if you like, don't do many podcasts and live life so much. Wouldn't you come back to do the podcast and just regale us with stories of life on the outside? Do it enough. And I'm like, yeah, because I want to go live life. I'm cool. I'm sorry. I'm cool. I want to go live life. But I'd rather go on a beach by the ocean. That sounds like more fun to me. Melton's in Hawaii. His life sucks. You know? So I apologize. Yeah, guys, all 76 of you, I'm sorry there weren't more shows, but I like to live life. That I don't podcast enough. I think too many people podcast too much. I said I was going to build a studio to do that, but that might make me podcast more, and I don't want to get caught up in that trap. I know I said I was starting a show with Opie or Stuttering John, and I had an afternoon show idea, and... I keep tweeting Kevin every day, hoping he'll invite me on, but nah, nah, you you guys do it too much. It's just like, it's not enjoyable to me. Chad's not having fun podcasting. Why? Again, why do it? Because this isn't a show. Why do it? Why go live today? It's not enjoyable to him, he says. Same with Kevin. I don't like the internet anymore. They call out my lies. It's like, right. Yeah, right. And now the same happening with Chad. I I called this weeks ago. It's like, you know, when we make fun of Chad, we're laughing. It's fun. It's light. It really doesn't carry outside of the studio. Chad can't podcast anymore because it's not fun. And you'll see it today. Even on this, you know, we pulled him away from the beach to do a podcast. Should be enjoyable, right? Like, it's not enjoyable to watch Steel Toe and, and fucking Chrissy Mayer. Like, I, I don't 
like it. All right. It's not enjoyable to watch Steel Tone Chrissy Mayer. I don't like it. I wish I was kidding when I tell you he's minutes away from pulling up a Chrissy Mayer clip. So by his own admission, we're dealing with the dumbest motherfucker on, on the planet. He doesn't like any of this, but he doesn't know how to stop doing it because, and this is a big, big reason, he doesn't know what else he would fucking do if he stopped. Talk about handcuffs, not golden ones, because he doesn't make any money. But talk about handcuffs. He just said the thing this show is about, he doesn't enjoy or like or have fun doing. He's going to show you a steel toe clip. He's going to show you a Christy Mayer clip. But he just said, I don't enjoy it. I don't like this. <laughs> Great podcast choice, Chad. You know, I don't know. That's where I stand. Catalino TV, $5. Catalino TV. I mean, he still he just can't read. It goes beyond reading, too, because you know Joey Catalano. So not only can you not read Catalano, it's like he doesn't even know what's going on. Catalano TV. Thank, thanks for the five bucks. It's too early to be drunk, brother. Uh, drunk brother Chad, I'm heading over to give you a sermon. All right, cool. See you then. I'm not drunk, but can't wait to see you. Is this a show? Does that have anything to do with anything? Is this a show yet? Type one if this is a show yet. Woo! So everything's good, guys. Everything's good. Hit the like button while you're here. Why not? Hit the like button. Chad has a near 40-page arrest record. Nothing's beneath him. Now it's 40. It keeps going up. It's unbelievable. It keeps going up. Well, it matters what typeface you use and how big the font. I can't stop it. It just gets crazier and crazier. Again, I, this stuff is killing him. He can act like it's not. We all know he's drunk, and we all know he hates this. The stories just get crazier. Jim PCL, Chad Z-Man wins again. I just want to, like, listen. Why put these chats up? What are you doing? David Spade saw how Brody was struggling with money, so he took him on the road to open. Yeah, David Spade's a good guy. I met David Spade once. He was pretty nice. He follows um, my alt Jan Michael Vincent account. Fascinating. Or he did. David Spade used to follow my alt account, is the brag we just got. David Spade used to follow my alt account okay hello uh uh oh uh, uh, uh. the right stuff what's going on it's big black calling hi big black i want to ask you when you went ac did you interact at all with vince the lawyer or chad vince the lawyer uh walked up to us and was secretly filming for like five seconds and then ran away he said he'd be back he never came back and Chad was only available in the bar for an hour, and we were up doing a show. So Chad only hung out for one hour in the casino, and he did not show up until we were live on the air up in the hotel room, and he left before we finished. So Chad punked out. Well, Chad will tell you I ran, but I've already proven that to be <laughs> bullshit. And again, Chad was there. All afternoon, we caught him walking by us. We screamed out at him. He he ran away, and he only came to the bar for one fucking hour. I was there for eh, 20 between the two days. So, yeah, I mean, Chad's yeah, just you, a bitch. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, we can tell. Also, I, I love that footage. Uh, like, who got that footage of, of Chad at the liquor store? How did you get it? I just got sent it. Oh, someone sent, sent it to you? Because uh, I'm wondering, why would the store release it? Did they know that was Chad, or how did that happen? I was wondering. I don't know, man. Do your research. <laughs> but um, you and Vince are interesting. You both guys have, like, a, a, a mean streak to you. But you're both interesting, though. So okay, I was this, is, you this, isn't, a, a show with this isn't a 2012 Kia. I'm not going to let a black man hijack it. <laughs> okay, have a good day, bro. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Crowdcat, that was a classic Chad spinning a question about Shuli buying views into a brag about his friend getting a hotel room on the beach. Yeah, I got to hear more about this friend. Male, female. Uh, Something doesn't seem quite uh, right with that. You know I mean? The theme for today is Bermuda Triangle. Melton is not who he says he is. The name you all know him by is Nobody Likes Onions. I've got your perfect formula. Receipts, proof, timelines, screenshots. So, sounds like a fact. Hello. What's going on there, Patrick? I was going to say, this is a... I was Hold on. Say, were, you, black, were, you, were you doing a shtick to yourself while you were muted? Yeah, I was. Jesus. You thought while well, I'm really, talking, hold on. You thought while I'm talking and playing a clip, you'll just start. Well, generally, I didn't know you had a mute button to go on, man. I'm sorry. Oh, so you were just going to yell over? Well. Bye. Ooh. We don't put up with horse play. Well. Yeah, I guess kind of. Uh, Ditka 89. Look at Mike Ditka, everybody. Look at that hair. I take it you didn't see Pat Dixon trash in Kate Meany's breast. Imagine Howard G. Robinson smoking and trying to sound like Howard Stern. Let's see what he does with this. Again, these people are throwing five bucks at him, and he's just, like, throwing out their chat. So I wonder if it'll ever, if it'll ever get anywhere. Yeah. Uh, full disclosure, I don't watch Pat Dixon anything. I don't watch Melton, Chad, Pat Dixon, Kate Meany, MLC, Stuttering John. My friend got a place at the beach. I know it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy, but I don't watch Pat Dixon anything. But thanks for the five bucks. Stick up. Stick up. <laughs> yeah, God, boy. I mean, Pat Dixon, I I he's an interesting fella. Like um I don't think you should be trashing anyone's looks. <laughs> so this is like an ongoing thing, Chad. Always one of the first things he goes to when he's trashing a man is their looks. Melton, have you seen how Melton looks? He's not an attractive guy. Stevie Lou is not attractive. Pat Dixon is not attractive. It's like, all right, keep us updated on Chad Zumach's guy blog. Sponsored by LA Looks Gel. He's a weird looking dude. I don't get the appeal of Pat Dixon. I really don't. And it's not even me. Again, like, if Chad was George Clooney, nine nine out of ten of the points would come off immediately because of how sloppy and dumb he is. I I just, sorry, I, I refuse, even just my listeners, you know, I, I, I'd rather date someone who's, disgusting and has skin peeling off of their face like a leper who's got their shit together this this drunk excuse for a 50 year old man bragging about a not even a weekend at the beach he went on thursday <laughs> or wednesday guys i got a room at the radisson midweek special Right on the beach, right on the beach. Just so you know, uh, the beaches in Florida are not real beaches, especially on the Gulf side. I mean, I'm just sorry. 
And I know people go to Panama and people go to Destin and people go to Tampa, Clearwater, St. Pete, uh, uh, you know, uh, a little, little further South. They're going to go Marco Island. They're going to go down to Sarasota, but these are not real beaches. These are not like nice beaches. A lot of them are just disgusting, stinky, you know, seaweed shelves. Gulf side beaches are great. I, I, I know. I, 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 look, I grew up in Florida my whole life. You don't get any real waves. Uh, just a lot of it's gross. So Chad bragging about driving 20 minutes to Clearwater and getting a hotel is insane. Trying to show shade on him or shit on him. Show shade. Au revoir, show shade. <clears throat> I just don't get it. Whatever his shtick is with the voice and the eyebrow and the cigarettes and. <laughs> What's your shtick with the foggy glasses and the tuft of hair and the alcoholism? With the bloated chins and the bloated cheeks and the bloated neck. I don't know what his shtick is. The posters of himself up behind him that are 15 years old. You can see when he moves, he probably takes those down, puts them on the bottom of the box. These will be going up in my new place. Yeah, MLC. And the, the, the old-timey uh, newspaper voice, I don't, I'm not into it. The old-timey newspaper voice Hello, she. Today's top stories. Man shot in subway. Who said that? Today's forecast. Who's making? Is that the? That's the voice of my newspaper. What the fuck is going on? Old timey newspaper voice. Chad, you were on radio. It's the only real job you've ever had in your life. Radio. He can't even think of old timey radio voice. Old time newspaper voice. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Meh, meh. Where is it? Where's my old timey radio voice? Jesus Christ. I, 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 I'm, I'm not kidding. What is this? It's a third of the way done. It's a third of the way done. In in a minute, he'll announce that this will be up later. This will be out for for paid members. Don't forget to subscribe and pay. This will be up later. It's not my thing, man. Sorry, Pat. Do you take that as a slight or a diss? I don't. Know. You sound like an old newspaper. <laughs> oh, it's all subjective, you know. You know, some people have told me that you're a funny comic. I I don't I I, I haven't watched any of your stand up. Um, but I don't get like what your thing is. What's your thing, Chad? Chip dip and alcohol. What's your thing? Or why people like it? Not being able to think of words. <laughs> you know. Maybe that's on me. Uh, but if you're going after Kate Meany and all, everything, like you should probably just wor worry about yourself, dude. You know, I don't know your situation, your living situation, but you should just worry about your own life and what you're doing. Chad Zuma telling someone else to worry about their own life. Living situation? 
Chad, let, let's line it up. Savings, living situation, love life, sex life, dating life, career options. Again, all Chad's only move is to tell others to quit. You need to focus on you. Chad, out of nowhere, brings up Pat Dixon and is like, by the way, Pat Dixon, you need to focus on you. Right. Everyone Chad wants to quit and get out of the way and fix is doing better than Chad, objectively. Again, who who wants to be Chad? The guy's got nobody, no career, no family, no friends. Again, you know, friends are just a small component, but he seems to really care about it. The reason I know he doesn't have friends is because he's always talking about friends. It's again, it's just a weird thing to do. The reason I know he doesn't have money, he's always talking about money. The reason I know he doesn't have any career options and gigs is because he's always telling you how many gigs he has, even though we never see him in any gigs. He's a headliner, 20 years, Florida's funniest ever. His album was number one for three solid weeks, despite Lil Dicky, Jim Gaffigan. And a million other people who came out with Adams in the subsequent weeks after his was released. Right. Right. He's the Z-Man. He was going to save Brody Stevens' career. They were about to go out on a tour. And then and then Brody put a gun in his mouth. Because I know when I book a big tour, when something's about to go really great, that's when I'm my most suicidal. Or, and the only other alternative, Brody Stevens thought it would be better and less painful to send a bullet soaring through his medulla oblongata rather than go out on a tour and listen to Chad Zumach do comedy. Right? That's the only other alternative. Brody Stevens thought it would be better to go down and get... uh to the do it center in Burbank and pick up some rope, wrap it around his neck and hanged himself because he had a tour with Chad coming up. These are Chad's words. That's what Brody Stevens would rather do. He'd rather jump a construction ramp into oncoming traffic on the 405. And and Cruella DeVille slammed the gas pedal down with bloodshot, crazy eyes. Just careening into a line of semi-trucks. Rather than hear Chad say, Kmart ready one more goddamn time. And again, these are just Chad's words. You know... <clears throat> Like I, I don't understand this punching down. Oh boy, we got a topic. Is this going to be a show? Is this a show yet? I don't understand this punching down. Okay, we're listening. Like Melton's do, like he punches down hard. Oh. These. Guys confuse me because they want it both ways. So you're beneath me. Kevin Brennan's beneath me. I'm punching down. I just want to make sure. You got to be clear about this. Record. Like I saw a clip of Mel. He was just, say what you want about Kate Meany. He was just being fucking mean to her. Like, just- Yo, what do you think we're doing? What do you think I want to be you? Just fucking lukewarm milk this motherfucker for the rest of my life. Fuck her and her cavernous asshole. Fuck her stupid mother, Marianne Halford, till the end of goddamn time. I hope they both end up in an old age home together with diminished faculty sipping on boxed wine in front of a ring light sent to them by Stuttering John while they fight for his affections. That's what I want for her and her stupid mother. I want her asshole O-ring to be as brightly, you know, 
just just glowing red like that ring light melton like yeah say what you want but melton she kate meany has more money and and probably will inherit more money than i'll ever see in my life she's a kept dumb bitch punching down what are you talking about her mother buys in her apartment on the upper east side her mother buys her drugs she doesn't know it. She calls it an allowance. I mean, I mean, her daughter vacuums with her legs spread. This is a whore, I think is the word. A worthless, dumb whore. And her mother is a stupid, dumb whore. Why? I don't know, man. I don't know. Because she raised one. So I don't know, man. Whores begat whores. Fact. That's mean. I'm like, dude, regardless of what you think. No one's mean. Is this the take? Or she's still like a girl. No matter what, man, she's still like a girl. That's where we landed. Dude, Melton's like mean. No matter what, she's still like a girl. Oh, yeah, we're not mean to girls. You know? <laughs> Even April, like, I, I'm not. Again, uh, Chad threatened to rape April. Chad threatened to rape Kev Kevin Brennan's daughter. Chad has done way worse to women in my chat room right now. So, what? again, what did I say? <laughs> you know, no, every, everyone wants to tiptoe around what I've done without using the verb. Patrick said something oh okay shut the fuck up then shut the fuck oh i said words did i chad you call clubs you call people's place of employment you call people's spouses you call people's homes you call people's relatives Again, you're you're so uncreative, you can't even get anything accomplished doing all those things. That's how much of a fucking loser you are. You do all those things, and still nothing happens to your victim. I talk. I say words about people, and you all melt the fuck down. Go at, Melton's going after. Melton's trashing me. Melton's destroying, Melton's ruining, Melton's bringing down. No, 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 no. That's you. That's you feeling it big. Because I'm really good at it. Because I use words that cut you. And you feel like you're bleeding. So much so you're looking around for gauze and a doctor. But when he gets there, he goes, what's wrong now? And you have to say the words. Melton said. And then the doctor goes, I don't have any medicine for words. Get a thicker skin. And then Chad's like, do you have anything for that? And the doctor's like, no, you're the fucking mud shark. Melton's mean. She's a girl. You're the mud shark, faggot. <laughs> you're the mud shark, loser. I'm surrounded by pussies. I've never waved a white flag. I've never told anybody to stop. Go. Kevin's going to report me to the IRS. Go. Chad's going to harass my wife. Go. I've never said stop. Why did you stop? I'm fucking waiting. You know why? Because you've never done shit. You go beyond my code of ethics. You'll call people. You'll fuck with people's real lives. Do it. I'm asking. I'm asking for it. Dude, we're waiting, pussy. Melton's crazy. Melton's crazy with her. Melton, oh. He. I'm waiting for the videos to come out of me begging for people to have mercy and stop. I'm waiting for the emails to leak of me contacting you, Chad, begging you to stop. Oh, wait, that's the other direction. You guys are fucking pussies. Say whatever you want. 
I mean it. I'm a fucking real free speech guy. Say anything you want. Say it. I'll never tap out. Say it. Do you know how fucking faggoty you look sitting there going, and then Melton, he's mean. He punches down. Another thing that hurt. And then Melton <sighs> talked. Your Kate Meany's message to Steel Toe today? Melton, Melton should be able to say those things. Melton shouldn't be able to talk about us like that. I talk, and then you run and get wine. I talk, and then you start popping pills. And from all I can tell, your mom, too. Blocking everybody. Drinking yourself silly. To cope. To warm yourself up from the cold words of Melton. Emailing behind the scenes, trying to form alliances with the biggest losers in the biz. We should team up and bring Melton down. I wish... You would go, go, Gadget, get him. I wish you and Chad and, and Steel Toe and Gino and Kevin would all link together like GoBots and form one giant pussy that I could fucking attack. Mountain's talking about my wife. Fuck your wife, Kevin. I'm not even kidding at this point. Eat your fucking wife's dick. Eat your giant black wife's pussy, you piece of shit. You're going to tell people I talk about her anyway. I might as well talk about her. Enjoy your giant NFL playing black bitch of a wife, Kevin. Suck my dick, you fucking idiot. Keep telling people I talk about her. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. How's your wife's doing this season? She got any prospects to be picked up by a new team, you fucking idiot? Your fucking big black ugly wife. <sighs> I'm talking about my wife. Good. Good. What a fucking idiot. What about your fucking bitches? Again, his wife's not even black. She's also not male and doesn't play for the NFL. So how much weight should this carry and how much should you feel it? Should you be that hurt? Or are you just looking for something to be victiming about? You fucking bitch. Man is talking about my wife. He's back on that. He's back on that. So before the meetup, I was talking about your wife. At the meetup, you didn't bring it up once or say shit because you know you're a fucking lying faggot. And then now that we're back home, he's talking about my wife. Fuck your wife, Kevin. Fuck your kids. Fuck your wife. I don't know them. Why does that hurt? Why should that hurt? You fucking loser. So, yeah, I mean, if you're going to tell people I do it, I might as well do it. Fuck your stupid, ugly, fat, black NFL jersey-wearing wife. Is that good? Is that going to be a clip? Jesus, it is bad enough I have to deal with these cracker-ass crackers. <laughs> now we have one of the dumbest Newport callers in history fumbling over his words like he is in a fourth-grade spelling bee. Big Black should worry less about Jordans and honkies playing radio and more about getting off welfare. Oh, my God. Uh, $10, Mark Abatista, ACOE releasing polluted water from Land O. Uh, is that Land? Uh, sorry, from Lake O to the West Coast, closing beaches from Sanibel to Marco when the algae blooms and the red tide hits right in the middle of the season. I concur, beaches suck here. Look, you can go to Daytona or Miami and get some decent beaches, but on the Gulf side, it's just it's just shit. I mean, I'm, I'm serious about Kevin's wife. I, I, I don't know the bitch. I never said a fucking word about the bitch. And now he's still over there going, Melton's talking about my wife. I, I, I am now. I am now. Fuck your stupid, ugly wife. I don't know what she looks like. I don't know who she is. She can eat a bag of dicks. She can suck a bag of cum. She's an awful parent. You guys suck at raising kids. <laughs> what can I say that'll trigger him? I don't know. I don't know. He, he was. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. I like punching down. Even if that means I have to attack your beautiful Nubian queen. Ugh. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. I mean, these guys get so mad about nothing.
Fucking retarded. Thank you to Jason Bentley, uh, today's executive producer. <laughs> Couldn't do it with that old Bentley, huh? Where is Bentley? I'm worried about him. Could somebody do a wellness check? You can become one of our high rollers, of course, just like the rest of these people. Uh, Tiff, Bob Levy for Life, Dan G, Disgracey, Mr. Panhandler, Jason Bentley, uh, Wizard Nug 2, Crumb Bomb, KB, all these fucking people. And Rover, also, who's not on this uh, list. Um, He's seeing red. Who, Kevin? Good. Good. Realize that I don't know your fucking wife nor care about her and that words don't hurt. Words don't mean anything. Because, frankly, again, if you're going to, if you're going to, I know that there's no me getting you to wind it back and admit you're a lying sack of dog shit. So I'll just talk about your wife. I, I get a, I get free reign now to talk about your wife whenever I want. Again, I don't know anything about her. I guess send me information. <laughs> He'll hate that. He'll be like, and now he's making people send him secrets about my wife. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to say I'm doing it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So send in your chats what you want me to say about Kevin's wife. I'll just say it. I'll just say it. He's saying I'm doing it anyway, so I don't give a shit. I don't give any fuck. <laughs> we'll just say it. We'll just say it. I'm going to get the. I'm gonna get sentenced anyway, so I'll just do it. Krautcat, Chad didn't post anything about the beach lies. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing is like. I don't know. I didn't post anything about going to dinner. It's it, he, this is the thing. It's like it's not novel. It's not interesting. I go to nice dinners all the time. I take my dog to the park or to, to a trail or to hiking or for a walk or up in the mountains to play in the snow all the, all the time. I go away for the weekend to a, to a beach in California f frequently, a few times a year. It's not a store. I don't need to run and tell you about it. It's not crazy. Chad opened one weekend in a real comedy club and can't stop beaming about it. Like, nobody will take this weekend away. There were 300 people there. They laughed. It was wild. It was crazy. That's new. It's new to him. So you don't, you don't do that. You don't, uh, you know, you, just, you don't talk about things you do all the time. You know, something a person never does is go like, I don't care about any of this. I have a real life with real things. I don't do any of this. This doesn't matter. I don't care about this. I don't like watching Ray. I don't like watching Chrissy Mayer. I don't, I don't like watching them. I don't enjoy it. It's not fun for me. Again, if we skip forward in this show, what's he doing? Well, here he is watching Carl. Oh, yeah, he does. Uh, he's got. He's got his uh, list of supporters now, too. Scrolling up. They keep it going, everybody. <laughs> so that's another cool original idea. And then, and I, look, I think people make that stuff for him and send it to him to troll him and me, probably. Where I go, like, look, Chad stole the list of, like, anybody cares. Look, he hates watching Steel Toe. He hates watching Chrissy Mayer. He hates stuttering John, Kate Meany. I I don't enjoy watching it, he said. Where's Chrissy Mayer? I hate it. I hate it. Oh, there's the hot sauce. <laughs> Let me see the hot sauce. Go away. Go away, Ray. Just go away. You tell you Ray to quit again. 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 The Chad says, just quit, Ray. Just quit. Ray, just quit. Yeah, Ray get Ray makes way more money than Chad. Chad made 30 something dollars this show again. Net. So it just, it just gets You gotta quit, Ray. I don't by the way, there's a new thing I do now. Oh no can't be a joke if i see stevie lou or ray in a thumbnail no click i so half his show is telling you 
He doesn't care about podcasts or the dabble verse. He's got a real life. This is stupid. He, he doesn't watch any of it. But also, he's going to give you an update on what Carl and Chrissy and and Anthony Cumia and Ray, he's going to give you an update on what they've all been doing. He doesn't watch it. But he does have some clips he'd like to show you and make fun of. But he doesn't watch it. If I see Ray in a thumbnail, I don't even watch it. By the way, here's some clips. We're going to watch some of Ray's show. It's like... He's lost. He's lost. He doesn't know why he does this anymore. There's no money. The real fans are few and far between. I, I really, I, you know, it's like, it really is like Bill from Jersey, Colt C. I, I, I know everybody. I know people like Stella. Sorry to throw you under the bus. And um, corn diff. Uh, just, like, just in general, most people are just nice people and they'll go, like, great job, Mud Shark, or Mud Shark, or we're doing it. Or they're every, everyone, and I mean 99%, everyone is fucking with Chad. Everyone. Talk about fucking punching down. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you deploy if you listen to the show, boy. Patrick Melton, Melton faces have you stacking and the low point. It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. Gonna make the taco pony party be a party of soul. Gonna make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker so bold. The family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got N. Alone, other radio shows a straight bitch male prone. Talk shit on the onions that nobody liked. Pass had my homeboy lame.